Yo, hello. It's time to start the show. My PS5 controllers on the other side of the room. <laughs> I guess I'll go get it. Hold on. Oh no, why did I leave it over there? How do I put these? How do I wear this headphones? <laughs> Guys, we gotta get going today. I was considering potentially uh, starting early today, and then um, nothing went as I as planned. And I'll tell you who the culprit is. The culprit is fucking Donkey Kong. <laughs> nah, it was fine. I thought about starting a little bit early, uh, cause I gotta get up early tomorrow and every day for the rest of my life. And but then I didn't. Well, next week we definitely will though. We're gonna have to, cause I know the stream will or the the trial will take longer than. It usually they take like four to five to f six hours sometimes. Definitely gonna have to start that one early. <laughs> this one, I'm hoping like three to four, I would be totally fine rapping and I'll still be able to get plenty of sleep. There's no way investigation can take f over four hours. Even if it's long. Even if it's long. Mark my words. <laughs> Mark it now. This is like when I declared that, uh, Session four of five of Banjo Kazooie was gonna be the last session, right? Walking into Click Clock Wood. Um, hey guys, welcome. How was everybody's weekend? Mine was fine. I didn't really. <laughs> I, I, I I needed to get to the. I needed to get out to the gym is what I needed to do. But yesterday I did a lot of hanging, and I did run some errands, but um, it wasn't even like. Like, I wasn't even being a slug, I just, you know, had things to do. And then, um, today I was like, alright, today I'm gonna get some stuff done. I need to clean the house and I need to... <laughs> I need to, I need to <laughs> get to the gym. And, uh, and then I, last night I did a little bit of a DK64 randomizer seed and then I finished it today and I looked up and I was like... Oh shoot, it's time for me to- I gotta get- I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna get to get to streaming. <laughs> no, I was gonna go yesterday, but I decided not to. Because I, then I was like, well, I'll just go today. And then, uh, you know, lo and behold. But listen, I worked out on the DK Isles today. Yo, sis, three stream streak. You guys wanna hear a humble brag? I... Am like 2,000 away, 2,000 away from being at 700,000 uh, zebra zenny. <laughs> I'm I'm really close to 700k. <laughs> um. Hey, what's up, everybody? Says Pixie Kingo Zabrag. Uh, Isaac and hi guys, <laughs> welcome, welcome. All right, thank you, two time. No one cares what we even did on our weekend. Seven hundred cases. I'm at like six ninety eight or something now. The gap keeps widening. <laughs> the gap is about to be obliterated. Because again, I'm now now going forward, I will be working, I will no longer have to work nights ever again until like they decide to change all of our schedules again. Um, which again, is going to be a rough adjustment, but I'm, I'm like kind of excited about it too. I think it'll, um, I don't know, I think it'll feel, I hope it'll feel better, I hope it'll feel good. I've been stressed out with work lately anyway. But, I mean, this is all stuff we've talked about before. I just like to, you know, this is the Akane Banashi, like, what do they call it on that? This is the opening, you know, the opening statement, and then we get into the show. You gotta warm up the audience a little bit. 
<laughs> with your incredibly interesting daily life. And the Kana Ibanashi was good this week. And manga was... Uh, and manga happened this week, too. Um... Hour. Uh... Okay. Last time Nekomaru died. Sorry if you were lurking, Will. <laughs> Will, who I don't think has been lurking on this ever. Will, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for so much, Will. Nekomaru died last time. Sucks. Uh, already, remember, we got to see the scene a little bit. We got to, um, like, we got, like, a one frame, one flash frame that burned itself into my memory for an entire week of what exactly happened. But now we got to investigate. There are shenanigans at play. What The thing I'm most interested in, maybe even more than who did it, because I don't want to know that. I don't want it to be any of the characters I love, and I also don't think it's going to be Akane. <laughs> Unless it was, like, an accident. Um, so that sucks, because if it's not Akane, then it means that it's someone I cherish. <laughs> if it's Kazuichi, you guys... <laughs> I was thinking of this over the week. Just because he's like, you know, he's the mechanic and Nekomaru is a robot. If it's Kazuichi, I, I, I will be inconsolable. <laughs> if it's Kazuichi, you guys, be, be prepared. I don't even know what will happen. Be prepared for genuine tears. I will, I will be, it'll be, it will be a destructive for me if Kazuichi killed Neko. Um, but I also really don't want it to be any of the other characters, possibly even more. So, that sucks. Let's not think about it, Morty. Um, it, okay, so, the, other than that, which I don't want to know, I am interested in finding out exactly how this, any of this even happened. How we got the boys into Grape House, uh, Tower. Like... Or at least, you know, like, the boy. And, uh, you know, saying it wasn't one of our two girls, or our three girls that are in Strawberry Tower. Tower. Um, like, how how Neko got over here and then in there, and then how someone who was on, like, three days with no food killed Neko Maru, the robot man. I'm really interested in all of that. I want to know about the ultimate death room. Why was there... What's the Smash Bros. hammer? Maybe it has, like, some secret function where it's, like, a laser beam or something, and that's how they did it. Um, there's a lot to consider and I think a lot to find out. And I'm excited to do it, even though I'm also afraid. The thing, even more than Kazuichi, the thing I'm most afraid of is the only character I really can remember interacting with in a meaningful, like, story-adjacent way in this arc is Chiaki, who stopped Hajime from going into the ultimate dead room. <laughs> and that, like, I, I, like... If it's Chiaki, it'll be even worse. I don't, like, I truly, she seems like such a beacon of light. But yeah, maybe in her devious arc, she's, she decided to kill. Maybe her dangerous streak, like, grew too, like, she grew out of control. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I, you know, I guess we'll have to, I, I really hope, here's what I hope the most, is that, like, we don't figure, figure it out during the investigation, and that, like, I don't have to live with that sinking feeling <laughs> for a week. <laughs> I hope we don't figure out who did it until, like, the trial. I hope I don't have an idea. <laughs> because, like, <laughs> if I have to sit, like, if I have to be like, Oh, no. It's probably blank for, like, a whole week. That's gonna be so bad. <laughs> right, let's get into it. Either way, you guys, listen, I'm, I'm vibing. I'm always having fun, but... Alright, I guess this is the one. We made additional saves. Oh, because we have a Monokuma to find still, too. I'm pretty positive we still have one. I didn't look at it during uh, the week uh, like the week between. Um, but I think it'll be fine. Also, what's up to Sasquatch Girl and Rinslet and K-Man? Hi, guys. Welcome. Does everything sound okay? I had to change some stuff around for Donkey Kong. And also Buddy Bro. Did I already say hi to Buddy Bro? The the thesis of today's um, 
stream title. One was that I came up with it in the shower like 20 minutes before we started streaming. And uh, the other thesis was that like Kazuichi's like po finally poisoned my mind. And he's the, like the only thing I can say is Kazuichi and like the only thing I can write is Kazuichi. Which will be so funny if he's the killer, right? Don't, like, wouldn't we love, wouldn't we just think that was hilarious? Okay, did I get any, I must have got, we got the Monokuma file last time, right? Look at the pink, Neko looks like on the little bottom, like he's like been hit with vats. <laughs> he looks like you're about to target his leg for a 70% chance to hit. Um, Nekomaru. He was a robot man. He was a robot. Uh, he was discovered in Grape Tower, even though he was staying in Strawberry Tower, which is in the fuck house. Maybe the yeah, it could have. I guess it could have been the Vault Dweller. Uh, okay, heads, heads. Monokuma said that you could have. We could have repaired him if not for his head, which was smashed. Which we're imagining the hammer probably did that because he's got a big dent in his head. Unless the hammer brought down the pillar and the pillar crushed his head. Um, yeah, he has detachable limbs. This It's like they like... <laughs> is it, or is what it's saying is they like doom, bonked him and he went like... Boing, and all of his leg, his, all of his limbs exploded off. <laughs> I think the pillar fell on him. That's what it seems like the most likely. Because that would have dislodged his legs also. Yeah, he like... Pow, he... Oh, if it's a self-destruct sequence also. I feel like this one has the potential. Maybe just because I'm thinking of case, case 4 in Danganronpa 1. But I feel like this one has the potential to be so tragic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was like, K-Man. I love playing with those. We used to have one that was like a fridge magnet. Um. Okay, this is a lot of the same stuff. Oh no, that was just, it just loops in here for some reason. His functions have shut down. Not his functions. All right, uh, do we want to talk to the Goyles first? Let's go in order of rank. Spin! <laughs> Guys, my throat is finally better. <laughs> I finally feel better. That's awesome. Thank you for healing me, Kazuichi. <laughs> Akane, are you doing anything? Well, it also seems like Akane may try to help in this case. I think she must, like, again, I don't know if I, I don't, don't think she, like, at a glance, I wouldn't say I think she did it. Um, but I think she'll maybe have, like, a character moment here. Because clearly she already feels regret that, you know, she, I feel like she feels regret that, she, she it feels like she's got a resolve now. Um, just because she's regretful of, you know, everything that happened with Neko and, she like never got to tell him, you know, that thank you for saving her, you know, whatever. It's, she said something like that last time. I don't remember the ex exact extent of it, but I feel like if we're gonna see her do something, <laughs> it's probably now. But well, give her some time. Let her cook. Leave it to me. <laughs> yeah, Akane who has investi investigated for the first time ever. Yeah, it, it's true. That'll be the one silver lining of Kazuichi. My voice will be, re be able to rest. Because Neko is already also gone. And ca with Kazuichi gone, then those those are the two that, like, destroy me the most. But also, doing the Kazuichi voice is fun. Never, like... <laughs> I wish you could see what my face looks like when I'm doing it also. Because I, I have to get really animated to, like, be the character of Kazuichi. <laughs> it is fun to do. It just hurts my throat to do it. <laughs> is it the way specifically about the thing about the Kazuichi voice that like has sort of happened to become uh, is that like because he <laughs> the the way that the character like speaks has such emphasis on like like my dad on like certain words <laughs> you have to like <gasps> you have to like <laughs> you have to like really like. Br I have to bring my like whole chest up and then like go like <laughs> he like he puts yeah he has a cadence for sure 
he puts emphasis in play in like fun places in it, so it's always fun to do that. All right, Akane. Yes, we need clues, honey. Thank you. <laughs> hmm, what are clues though? Clothes? She like rips her shirt off. No, Akane. <laughs> That's going to be a little hard. Yeah. There is something I thought was weird. Okay. <laughs> Hajime. That was like... Isn't it already early in the morning? It's like 7 a.m., guy. Like you noticed it too, right? You heard that rumbling sound. Did we hear that? I didn't remember that. Yeah, it, it's definitely evolved a lot, also. it's And really, the reason is because I just, like, couldn't tell what Kazuichi was supposed to sound like. <laughs> He's the only... Other than Gundam, who, like... Eventually, we could have done... Like, if we wanted to, we could have done a voice that... And I guess Chiaki, also. I guess there are some characters where, like, the voice for them doesn't really sound like what they sound like. But I think, at least with those two, they have the spirit of that character's voice still. <laughs> and the Kazuichi voice is, like, just totally different. It doesn't sound like Kyle Abear at all. It sounds like Roger from Doug. If he were based. What was that sound just now? Oh yeah, I guess this happened. So this was probably like the... Like the pillar falling. I would imagine this was the pillar falling. I was sleeping pretty heavy, so I wouldn't think about how hungry I was, but that noise woke me up. Alright, what did she see? Okay. <laughs> I felt kind of dumb for doing it. <laughs> she, she shot out of the room like, oh! and then there was nobody else out there, so she like hung her head and walked back. Is this just giving me Akane's account that there was a sound that I also heard? Well, I guess she knows that nobody... She didn't see anybody else around. Akane's... I guess all the rooms are on the same floor, too. Is she saying she came all the way down here? Okay, she just... It looks like she just popped out of her room and then went back in. But that could mean that the Goyles were somewhere else. They were being... They were being ski devious somewhere. Chucky, no, please. Say it ain't so. I should tell you in more detail. When I ran out of my room, I glanced at the lounge clock. A lounge clock? This is going to be important, though. 5.30 a.m. <clears throat> I'm also not, like, I haven't completely ruled out that the clocks are wrong, also. there. It felt like there were... There was almost maybe something uh, last week where I was like, unless the clocks are wrong, maybe it was, yeah, maybe it had something to do with the, the morning, the Tai Chi stuff. That would be kind of confusing to like prove. Like there's already enough mechanics going on here that might not be the case. Why? All right. A sound at 5.30. Akane account. Akane's account. We can call it like an Akan count, right? She's trying to like, <laughs> didn't I? I gave you something, didn't I? <laughs> All right, thank you. Next. I see. I see. We're going from like a five to like a nine to a 10. Please don't call it that. <laughs> In this case, in this case is Monokuma file. There's no written time of death. Yeah, he's really been slacking on that shit lately. Come on. Is there a Monokuma cam in here? There's gotta be, right? Didn't that <laughs> didn't that happen when Ibuki and Hiyoko died too? Yeah, I think he's off his game. Oh, did it? <laughs> the reason the time of death wasn't mentioned when those two died was because. Somebody left the heat on. The time of death was key to the mystery surrounding their murder. Could it be? Um, by the way, I would like to confirm this just in case. Here we go. 
I'm a little confused still on how do you get into the tower? <laughs> Sonia, it's safe to assume. We proved it. We proved that you can assume that. Is it safe to assume that Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower are the same building? <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's the only thing we can think of. Unless unless there are dimension unless it's a dimensional gate going through the tower entrance. We are in the rectangle, correct? <laughs> Even when we experimented with Chiaki's handbook and left it in Grape Tower, it still showed up in Strawberry. Which means Mhm. Mm Monokuma designed he wanted us to kill in this room. <laughs> Do you like think about that? Like the the only reason that this whole device, like this entire room and all of these walls and all this shit exists, is because he's like, I'm gonna give him a fucking battleground. Like he he, he wanted a they, <laughs> he gave us the the option. <laughs> we the killing could have happened anywhere else, but Monokuma wanted it to happen here. <laughs> It should be the case. I'm pretty sure this is actually the fucking killing room. Then, then it's it's pretty creative, honestly. They should get him on, on an escape room. Get him to do something productive with his time. Then it's decided. The two towers are the same building. The scene of the crime is simultaneously Grape Tower and Strawberry Tower. Thank you once again, Sonia. Yeah, yeah, that's he's been planning this one for two uh two chapters. <laughs> Flipping through his little Rolodex, Nagito's there with him like looking over like, "What about that one? This one inflicts you with a disease that almost kills you." Yeah, but it could be kind of funny, right? <laughs> you might die from this one, Nagito. Yeah, but I mean, whatever. I'll be patient zero. <laughs> And finally, to a 10. Hachi <laughs> Searcha. What if Chiaki side profile Chiaki? Could be wacky. What's this? She looks. Doesn't she look like when it's like. It's like that, right? What's this? Wow. Yeah, very, very Jujutsu Kaisen. Or no, that's not that part. It, I mean, it's it's in the chorus. You know, you know, because it's, it's when they're Luka. Did you find something? Well, under Neko Maru's body. No, wait. There are small rock-like fragments underneath Mecha Maru's. But she she corrected herself to Mecha Maru. <laughs> oh no, I mean Mecha Maru's body. <laughs> Straight man. Why do you mean rock? What do you mean rock-like fragments? See. See? Oh, rocks. There are a lot of these small fragments. It's like they fell under Mechamaru's body. Well. But oddly enough, though these fragments are underneath the body, there are hardly any on top of his body at all. Interesting. So that means the pillar possibly fell first. Oh, Hajime Steiner. <laughs> if you want to catch me as the killer, you're going to have to work a lot harder in this case. What was that, Chiaki? I don't know. Yep. <laughs> if you don't know, it's okay. It probably means they're not that important. When you put it like that, now I can't help but think they are important. This. <laughs> yo, pi yo, pillar! Will! The Willerman. Alright, uh, I gotta look at the Smash Brothers hammer, right? An enormous hammer has been carelessly left on the floor. Chiaki, what does this make you think of? Hachime, that's like... <laughs> that's like making a joke about how Mario eats mushrooms to get high. Oh, sorry, Chiaki. You're gonna have to try a little harder. Alright. It's like... It's suspicious because it stands out so much. How cool. The hammer is the weapon that broke the Neko's back. I do believe a weapon of that size is capable of damaging Nekomaru. This thing is ridiculous. It's a little too clean. It doesn't have any blue blood on it. Yeah, this yeah, this is just his hammer. 
How, how big was the last one? I guess the three was the biggest one, right? Big enough to kill Hifumi? <laughs> who, who, who actually was killed with the hammer? Hifumi, right? Where did the killer obtain this hammer? Prior to now, I do not believe I've ever seen this before. Maybe with a fish tank. <laughs> Maybe instead it was with a fish tank. Sonia, there's no fish tanks in here. Oh, yeah. There's no supermarket here. I wonder where they obtained a hammer from, if not from the supermarket. This. New looking hammer. It's the New Jack Ham. Pyramid. <laughs> Will has infected me. This is not my fault. It's Will's fault. The pillar next to the door is... Guys, Will finished the JoJo's anime today. Or yesterday. He finished it. And we are all aware. <laughs> and we love him very much. The pillar, the pillar next to the door is tipped over. And broken. Did the pillar break when it fell over? Or like, I don't know, man. He must have been... I don't know. Maybe like the blood like pew and like poof, on the pillar. If we're saying the pillar fell and then Nekomaru died and somehow his blood got on it. I was thinking he might have been like up on it. Because again, there's like... A, he ha he definitely has a noose on his leg, right? We're going to have to learn about that. Back. Maybe somebody was trying to jump and he like jumped in and saved them. And the pillar fell and it killed him. I'm ready for tragedy. I'm gearing up for like the worst possible thing to happen. <laughs> for me to be like, no. <laughs> okay. Nekomaru's oil. The other one is still standing. Behind me is the door to grape hell. The two pillars on each side of that door haven't changed either. That's also good to know. We got one pillar down. I got it, I got it! I'm getting this one! Leave it to me. This pillar is the weapon! The killer used it to beat up Coach Nekomaru! <laughs> this huge pillar? This is like, uh, what's, what's, there's something that's like this. It's like something. Who fights with a pillar like that? Damn it. We got socked by something like this. Even Coach Nekomaru wouldn't stand a chance. Frankie fights with like pillar nunchucks. I swear there's someone who like swings a big pillar around in something. It might just be Frankie still. <laughs> yeah, well, that's impossible. It'd be too heavy to wield as a weapon. Now then. Hajime, let's see if we can wield it though. Grab that end over there. It's in pieces. We have to try, obviously! Didn't you ever hear Sherlock Holmes, Hajime? When you've el eliminated everything that's impossible, the only thing that remains is this fucking pillar! Alright, I guess I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us! <laughs> Ak Akane, that's not even like... Would you ever try to lift it like this? You gotta lift from under! Neither of them are doing this the right way. From under, Akane! It's barely budging! It's no oh, she's just gonna say this. It's barely Didn't I tell you? Ha yeah, Hajime's not trying at all. <laughs> He's like when you ask somebody for help and they like don't do anything and you're like... They like get into position to like help you but they like don't contribute and you're like... Alright, we just could've just said no. Like... <laughs> Oh my god, she's using Kaioken. I, w I hope she lifts this pillar and it slams right into Hajime's crutch. Seriously, just give it up already. Now we Shoot, we couldn't do it. <laughs> it won't even budge. Kaioken Kaiokane. You want... <sighs> You want my Kai Okane as my Akane Ak Akan count? No, I don't want any of those things. 
All right. <laughs> if two people can't even move this pillar, then it's impossible to use it as a bludgeoning weapon. What is wrong with you? <laughs> well, she's trying. There's only one person who could have lifted something like this. He's dead on the ground. Robo coach. Me and Robo coach. The tipped over pillar. All right. Well, you know, I suppose we tried. These. Hajime, lick the wall. We have to uh, experience this with all five senses. Along the tower floor, there appear to be many lights built into the floor, illuminating the wall. Yep, yep. Have we even tried to look at the ceiling in here? There is a, this is literally like, there's fizzy, the fizzy lifting drink fan is up on the ceiling, I think. There's nothing strange about the lights, so they probably have nothing to do with the case. Okay. Oh my god, it is like a, t how high up does this thing go? This shit's fucking crazy. <laughs> Akane Shinachi. <laughs> Is that how I was supposed to read that, Pixel? Hi, Chibi Me! We're gonna get you grown, Chibi Me! I promise. R.I.P. King. It's cruelly broken. Looks like it's been so severely damaged that even his head was dented. Yeah, that's, I mean, yeah. Look, it's, his clothes are all torn up and shit. He got caught in the fizzy lifting drink fan. And someone tied that, that noose lasso around him to try to pull it, pull him down. That'd be a fatal wound, right? But Neko's robot body should have been durable enough to withstand any assault. They didn't hold back. <laughs> oh man, they, this guy really did turn into a robot, huh? It's just, shit was it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I was getting used to the idea, but now that I think about it, robots are definitely unusual. They, yeah, they let go! <laughs> what if Grandpa Joe got his ass killed and then like all of the kids had to solve, had to figure out who the murderer was. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, with a couple of slight adjustments, easily could have been a Danganronpa killing game. It almost is a killing game, kind of. <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is like the first <laughs> killing game media. There are chapters, for sure. <laughs> Gene Wilder is the Madokuma, uh, Willy Wonka. Charlie absolutely has li has visual novel pro tag energy. Couldn't you just hear his mo Hajime's mom singing "Cheer Up Haji" about him? I was getting used to the idea. God, stop doing bits. It's it is gonna take five hours. It doesn't matter if he was a robot or not. Either way, Neko was still killed. If, if, uh, um, if Monokuma dressed up like Willy Wonka, I wouldn't even, like, bat an eyelash. It was, it's totally in his character. Yeah, he, he's like, yeah, he's the brain of Monokuma, and the Oompa Loompas have, like, the, like, sk the sk skittering creature energy. And, like, I guess the whimsy. Even though Willy Wonka himself has whimsy, too. It's definitely strange, right? Well... If they wanted to kill him, they could have just destroyed his head. Why did they destroy his entire body, too? Oh, it does look like she's wearing a little grin. This is my new hair clip. <laughs> Jockey, where did you get that? <laughs> she's got a little clip, uh. Maybe they didn't know how to kill a robot, so they damaged him all over? You? Yeah, this is what I'm most, like, how did this happen about... That's why I think it like it ha it could be an accident cuz who 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 had the energy to kill? Unless the hammer really is just that strong. It could have like a form. What's that? <laughs> this gives me better stats. They obviously didn't fight him head on, but even then he wouldn't leave himself open to an attack. 
You're right. In fact, that's the biggest mystery. He was str even stronger after he became a robot. I can't think of anyone who would be capable of killing him. This alone... What if, so what if it was Sakura's statue? Okay. Oh, we're looking at the bod. Hey, wouldn't wouldn't it be so awesome? It, like, if or isn't it? I guess I should say, isn't it so awesome that like we don't have to talk to some annoying ass character who never really tells us anything anyway? Uh, before we examine the body here, <laughs> isn't that great? Doesn't this feel just streamlined, you guys? I'm looking at this fucking wire noose thing. Like, you know, you gotta go through somebody who's standing in front of the body who says they're gonna do an autopsy and then, like, does, and, like, even then it- I don't even remember if it always gets added to your fucking, uh, truth bullets. <laughs> yeah, you got it, Pixel. Oh, Strudy! <laughs> The stream is so dumb. Strudy! <laughs> Yo, Strudy! There's a Strudy metal wire attached, tied to Nekomaru's left leg. The same wire is tied to his arms. It's almost like he was bound up or something. I guess it is two different wire. But even if they bound him up, the killer still had to deal with a robotic Nekomaru first. Who did this, and how were they able to bind him? I guess if it's a metal wire, then that thing on the end could be like a snare. It's just that it's not, it's not snared him on the right side, <laughs> you know? The tip of, his of the wire looks like it's been tied in a loop, but what was the point of this? It. Maybe he, maybe there was like a whole, <laughs> maybe there was like a whole ass like other fucking trap set up for somebody else and Nekomaru like was just wandering around looking for somewhere to take a shit. And he was like, hope de doop de doo oh fuck, oh no! And he like just tripped, he looked like a, the most comedic trip of all time. He's like, oh god! And he like ran in here and just got tangled up in the wire the wrong way and knocked the pillar over and died. Well, how did I level up here? Does this, moving this level you up? Oh, he didn't have like a little something in here? We got like a crowbar, or can I pry this shit open? The co oh, here we go cover on his chest is open. Is this where the alarm clock thing was? I bet Nekomaru's clock will... Oh, well, if his, if his, if he has a clock that maybe, like, stopped when, uh, he died, then we could, we could tell when the real time of death was, right? That'll probably be important, too. Yeah, can we... Okay, the cover's all messed up. If, oh, this is what I'm always saying. If only Kazuichi was here! We might be able to open it. What the heck could be going on? What could he be doing right now? They heard the announcement. Where are the guys? <laughs> I bet they're doing something stupid. I guess they didn't get food, so maybe they're like dying over there. Uh, okay, something, oh man, does this like a kill switch? What, did we never heard about this, right? Oh, I guess we did hear about it. Oh, sleep mode. Okay. <laughs> I'm j <laughs> God. I'm jaying some O! It's a cutting edge function. Eddie Knight. Yeah, the, the guys, like, they just somehow, they know. They felt his presence disappear from the world. And they're, like, mourning over there now. Maybe the killer pressed this button and made him enter sleep mode. I guess that would be the, the easiest way for them to then dismantle him, destroy him. It's still hard to, or maybe he ran out of battery. It's still hard to think that the killer was able to easily press a button on the back of Nekomaru's head. Even if he was ambushed, it still wouldn't be easy. It does look like it's cracked open though. The nighty night button. So this is on his like, on like this thing, right?
There's something protruding from behind Neko's... Oh, is that... Oh, okay. I thought he already... Oh, I guess I looked at this already. So we examined his... Maybe it's... Maybe it's actually, like, here, then. Well, we know it was, like, put together it would be somewhere around his neck. Because <laughs> examining the head gives me that. It must be, like, on the back here. Oil. Yeah. This oil, for Nekomaru, it, one could even say, it's similar to normal blood in humans. Yeah, blue oil, pink blood. Which means, he's got blue oil because he had that brotherhood in him. Or, yeah, or he was, he had that blue curacao in him. He, he picks it, he like, hmm, orange? Oh, it's blue curacao! All this oil is just a pool of robot blood. That's a whole lot of oil. It's gonna be easy, not gonna be easy to clean up. Monokuma's gonna have a hard ass time fucking. <laughs> you think he's gonna keep the. You think we'll be able to come back into the funhouse? He's gonna demolish this when this is over, guy. Oil on the floor. Alright. Let me back off on this. Alright, we got this shit. I don't think this will. Maybe. <laughs> Look at Usami though. <laughs> Zibrag much. Arnav. <laughs> Picture of Usami's face with grapes in her mouth. Did we. Does this also. It doesn't seem like this changed. I guess maybe looking at things gets you level? Does moving this get you level? Alright. This is also something I'm, I'm interested in, because why would this be necessary? Unless they needed time to, like... No. it's This doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm very interested in what the point of putting a chain and lock around this strawberry door would be, considering this door won't open, like... Th it wouldn't open the entire time the murder would be taking place, if we are understanding the way that the rooms work correctly, right? All that I can think of that this would serve to function as is a way to keep Strawberry House people from coming in here after Neko was already dead. And why, like, why... <laughs> Again, unless to implicate someone in Grape House, I don't know why that would, like, why otherwise that would be necessary. And also, where did this shit come from? A sturdy metal chain. It's wrapped around the doorknob from every direction and even has a padlock on it. Why did they do this? Tell me, Son. Perhaps this was used as an alternative for locking the door with a key? You wouldn't be able to enter this tower from Strawberry Hall side. Okay. Right. After all, this door should lead to Strawberry Hall. Unless this is wrong. <laughs> that will be... That would be awesome. <laughs> if this is not correct and this is not how they work, that would rule. <laughs> If they barred this side of the door with a chain, it would be impossible to open it from Strawberry Hall. Still, why would they need to bar the door to Strawberry Hall? I don't think we'll learn the answer to this, though, until the trial. It seems like that's one of those, like, more complex lock and keys. Even though it's literally a lock and key. Okay. Alright, Hoodie. What is it? You seem lost in thought. Well, the final dead room. <laughs> the final dead room, huh? Yep. What the heck? Why are you bringing that up all of a sudden? The hammer, the chain, come on, Hajime. Oh yeah, I guess the wire probably came from there too. All the evidence at this crime scene consists of things we've never seen in the building. As long as we can't leave, there's no doubt that they came from somewhere within the building. Yeah, the, one, the boys are just in the dead room. Oh, there were, there were beers in here. <laughs> we, we come in and we come in and Gundam is going, oh, Kazuichi, go drink a Coors Light. So that's why you mentioned the final dead room. Monokuma said beyond that room, there's an ultimate weapon and a, with the octagon. Yep. Yep. 
If we think of that place like an armory, then that's where the killer obtained their tools, right? It's gonna be like the Higurashi room where everything that kills you is. Let's go confirm it. They might, the boys might be in there. If you go in there, you have to play the life-threatening game. Well? Well, I mean, I'm gonna solo this, so. <laughs> I'll be the one who tries to confirm it. What are you saying? <laughs> Akane, she, Akane's still looking at the pillar. She hasn't, I'm, I'm getting there, okay? I'm getting there. She hasn't moved on to the rest of the scene. <laughs> it's not you guys. There's a sound that's been ringing since before the investigation started. A ringing sound? What if the, the boys are trying to like hacksaw through the, the lock on the other side? You've been mentioning that sound for a while, haven't you? Hey, hey. Is she the only one hearing this? What kind of sound is it? Um... High-pitched alarm clock. Okay. Does Akane have super senses? I know she had like a super sense of smell, right? Is that something I... Is that something I've forgotten about her character? Oh, Ibuki had super hearing, we know. Could it be... Maybe it's better if we go check out the sound first. Are you gonna... Are you gonna check it out? Yeah, she definitely has like heightened abilities for sure. I'll, I'll stay here. Then I shall wait here as well. Please be careful. Hey. Steiner? Hey, hey. Ichiaki, it's always just the two of us. <laughs> Hajime, it's okay. It, come on, it's okay if it's just us two. We, I am, I am locked in and Huevese wait for another hysterical Chiaki bit. <laughs> she is gonna, I think she, the only reason she's saying this is because she has prepared a joke. <laughs> Akane said she wants to stay. I get it. She, no, no, no. The other two girls are, sh are she. She doesn't want to leave Neko's side. I don't know if she's actually aware of that or not. Let's go, bye. Okay. <laughs> prance, 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 skip, skip. Me and old Watson, who's smarter than me. Look at her there. <laughs> the only thing loaded in in the room. <laughs> the smallest creature. Chiaki big. Spin. Now that we've come all the way here, I can... Oh, yeah, there is something ringing. I can definitely hear something. What is it, the fire alarm? Oh, it's probably grape phone. It's the phone. Are they trapped over there, maybe? Maybe the lift is broken. It sounds like it's coming from the floor above us. What could it be? Let's go, big Chiaki. <laughs> fire hydrant. Um, uh, They probably won't let me go back here, right? I wanted to see if there was a Monokuma cam in the room there. There probably is, but how do I get back? Chiaki, help! <laughs> Can I get back in here? Hey, hey. Nope. <laughs> Shadow looked while you were there. I would imagine there must be, right? Because Monokuma wasn't even in there when we found the body, was he? Or was he? Was he there? He might have been. I really hope this Monokuma, uh, like the last Monokuma we need to find is in the fucking final dead room. Because if it's not, then I will have anxiety. Alright, phone. It's so noisy. That phone is ringing off the hook. I guess I'll answer it. Small. <laughs> answer it, Hajime. All right, phone. Huh! I lunged for the phone receiver. Gotcha. Damn right. Oh, you finally answered. Fuyuhiko? Jeez. Do you know how long the phone was ringing? I was getting worried that no one would pick up. <laughs> he was he was calling us up. What are you guys doing? <laughs> okay, they can't come over. Interesting. Um. So what, is, what do we think that means? Well, let's hear out what he has to say first. Someone broke the elevator.
Okay. So whoever did like whoever did this clearly wanted us specifically to find this then. I feel like it has to be what that is. Or they wanted none of no one in Strawberry House to find it. So if, if the elevator if the killer came from this side of the house, then they didn't want anyone over there to be able to come over. And if the killer came from there, they would have had to somehow <laughs> come over, do the killing, and then leave, and then break the elevator also. We're sitting ducks over here, man! Well, how are we gonna get back with the boys? Plus, th all the boys are f drinking in the fi final dead room? <laughs> it was just a freezer in there, Hajime! <laughs> Monokuma was fucking holding out on us! It's like a, it's like one of those walk-in freezers at like a grocery store or or a Wawa. Yes, I said it. I'm sorry. I <laughs> know we have to get our I have to get my once per stream Wawa spot in there. You guys ever been in the Wawa? You ever bought booze in a Wawa freezer or like a freezer like another like gas station like that? Because I have, I've also bought it in a Sheets freezer too. Yeah, it's, it's the Tipsy Kitchen. They walk in onto the set of where he films those. Hey, bastard. Are you listening? What are you saying? The door, well, the door is locked. I'm listening. Everyone in Strawberry House is safe, right? Well. We're safe, but we can't, oh no, no, boys. Did the announcement not play over there also? Did it only play here? Do they, maybe they just know that someone has died. No, I, oh, I don't. Chiaki, talk to him. I'm not breaking. No, are you fucking kidding me? I'm not breaking that news to them. Come on. <laughs> Neko's fine, Fuyuhiko. Oh, God, why did I say that? It's so much worse now. Oh, good. I'm really... Man, I would really... It'd be awful if something happened to him. We'd all be just destroyed. No, nah, he's fine. And he, he, like, slams the phone down. Why did you say that? <laughs> Didn't you hear the body discovery announcement earlier? No. Damn it. So that's what it was. Shit, why did it have to be Nekomaru, man? He just came, that's what I'm saying. He just came back to us. He was so funny as a robot. Yeah, yeah, Hajime is. <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Nekomaru. <laughs> his, his legs still like hanging off and attached only by like the threads of his pants. He's so clearly dead, but he's just flopping around. And all the boys are like, Neko! <laughs> they all jump on him and they're like palling around. <laughs> Ajime just sweating and crying and pissing himself behind Nekomaru. He gets in there and he's piloting his dead body like a mech. He just came back to us! Yeah, it's... <laughs> Woody with Buzz's arm. <laughs> That's so accurate. <laughs> Where was he killed? Grape Tower. When I went there this morning, he was already there. I see. If the door to Strawberry Hall wasn't broken, we'd be able to enter the tower and... That's it! Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Dumbass. Though I don't know. I mean, you, Fuyuhiko, Fu Fu I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But everybody else over there, one, is just going to cause problems for us. Or two, is not going to help with the investigation. That dirty bastard. What about another way? Isn't there... Well, we could get the chains off. Isn't there any way you... Oh, they can't come over still, though. They would still wouldn't be able to get over. They would just be able to get to the body room. Is there any way you guys can come to this side? Well, yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm always saying. Oh god, we're gonna have to let Kazuichi handle this, huh? Yeah, well. Yeah, you're right. 
He said he'd take care of the elevator. Guess he's our only hope right now. This is this is kind of raw. He's gonna fix the elevator. You're right. Besides, if he doesn't stand out now, <laughs> well, you're the one who hung out with him. If I don't hang out with Kazuichi now, when the hell will we? <laughs> this is what I was saying a week ago. Based on what Kazuichi said, it's gonna be hard for him to fix the strawberry hall door without any parts. But he said he might be able to do something. Well, we could, I guess we could pass them parts through. Okay. Are you guys gonna be okay? I'm fr I keep like mixing up like who is talking here. And also the voice is like not really any, like too different. Uh, okay. Kazuchi's fixing the elevator raw. Until then, it's up to you bastards. Hang up. Well, he didn't even say bye, Chiaki. That was a little rude. The call came from inside the house? Then who was phone? Get it? Good one, Chiaki. Apparently, the others can't come over here because the elevator's broken. There's no doubt this is the killer's doing. They've prevented the others from coming to the crime scene. Are those guys even helpful anyway? <laughs> Nagito's over there. For some reason, even the door button to Strawberry Hall is broken too. Huh? Like, wouldn't we? Are they? Do they? Does he not realize like what we're talking about here? Um. Or is it a dub? Is it two doors that open? All right, I guess they, maybe he's, maybe the chain, maybe like they press the button and like it won't even try to open, is what they're saying. What would be the point of the chain if the button was also broken though? And that seems to be the case. Yeah, Nagito's trying to get him to do an icebreaker. What about like two truths and a lie? Nagito, you've never once told the truth about anything. Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess it's not gonna be a very good game then. Why did the killer need to block both sides of the door? Yeah. I'm not sure, but there is something strange about that. I would like to investigate in more detail. But if they can't come over, then we can't go over there. Yep. Which means, for now... Oh, are we gonna... Oh, this is... This could, if the, this could be really interesting, because if the... Um, if the... The lift doesn't get fixed... Um, then we're gonna have to rely on those guys, like, like, I can't, I, we gotta be able to get into the final dead room, so I imagine it must get fixed, but I'm wondering if there's gonna be some element of this where, like, we're gonna have our side, and they're gonna have, like, their side, and we're gonna have to, like, operate like that, kinda. I wonder how much of that will, like, come up until, like, before the trial. I'm not entirely comfortable with you going in there, Chiaki, but regardless, it's impossible for now. Kazuichi's being raw, so... All we can do is put our hope in him. Oh, that makes me want to put my hood on about him. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. You're right. <laughs> I, bet, I, like, I know Sh Chiaki said that, but how I imagine it, he says this, Chiaki, this, and then Hajime says that. Monokuma's not gonna hit <laughs> all she her re, her response is putting her hood on. I hope Kazuichi can fix it soon. Oh fuck. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Come on guys, don't look so glum. Let's try this one. Would you rather Play Mega Man X with me on your channel, or play Sonic 3 with me on your channel. I mean, we'll both be doing it eventually, but which one first? <laughs> which would you rather play with, Nagito? And play Mega Man X with him. What does he think he's going to be doing? <laughs> Is he just on Cocom? What is this? Am I getting... Uh, is Mia... <laughs> what, is, what is happening here? Are you even listening? Hey, bastard. Yo. Were we still on the phone with Fuyuhiko that whole time? You didn't hang up. 
Are you listening? Oh, raw! Damn. Am I playing as Nagito? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. This is so interesting. I was like, what if they're like, yeah, if the lift doesn't get fixed at like, <laughs> it's a good, it's gonna have to be like two sides of the story. Oh my god, my fucking speaking role ha like has gotten so much more difficult now. Oh, <laughs> the bit, the bits are potent here. Nagito, I'm talking to you. Huh? <laughs> Oh, me? Um, <laughs> I am also... My my own body over here on the other side of the mic is morphing into Nagito also. <laughs> my hair is turning white and like... <laughs> I'm growing like white head tentacles. My shirt is becoming the Nagito sweater. Jeez. Don't huh me. I figured you weren't even listening. Sorry, I was just thinking. Yeah, we're, we're also... We're like back... We're a little bit back in the Makoto seat a little bit. I know we haven't talked about it in like weeks upon weeks, but it, there's definitely still the possibility that that Nagito somehow is like corrupted Makoto. We were talking about that a lot more in the beginning when like we first kind of figured out what was wrong with him and he wasn't just like <laughs> the funniest man alive yet. You were probably thinking of something messed up, weren't you? This is how messed up Nagito brain was. But I have been listening to you. Nekomaru was killed, right? When that body discovery announcement was referring to him. Damn it. Not everyone here, it just had to be Nekomaru. Damn it. Yo, is Fuyuhiko gonna be my squire on this one? After what he went through to come back to us? Damn it! Oh. It's tantamount. <laughs> no, and also, I've got the boys here. It's tantamount to being killed twice. Truly, he was a man burdened with terrible sh misfortune. Hey. So now that we <laughs> got a studio audience. Now that we know the situation over there, is it all right if I go ahead and fix the elevator? Is it all right if you wait a little bit? Before you do that, we should. Did you call for me? Yeah, this is this is the brotherhood and sisterhood are preserved here, like by force. Get the monokuma file, right? <laughs> what did you print? Two of these, guy. <laughs> He's here! It seems you guys have noticed that the incident has taken place, so this is for you! It's like a crappy photocopy of the normal Monokuma file that we got. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I watched a really iconic and classic uh, Gintama episode, which is really a, it's a half episode even. It's like a part A. Uh, last night about it involves Yamazaki and and Anpan red bean bread. It's one of the you know it's one one of the ones everybody remembers, but it's a funny one. And there's a bonus item. It's the oh Mario. yay! Oh good. Yeah, Yamazaki Yanta. Satisfy your hunger with this and do your very best on the investigation, Nagito. Why is the Monokuma file being treated like a bonus item? Let's just eat, man. I'm starving over here. Eating should come first right now. Damn right. You're right. It's okay if you guys eat, but can you hear me out while you're at it? What? Do you what? He's already got it like... What? Spews crumbs all over Nagito. Well, I was thinking about what we should do, and I wanted to discuss it with you guys. Even so. We're one down, but I was thinking of calling like a little brotherhood meeting. Thanks to the thanks to the killer, we can't even go to the crime scene. We have to wait till Kazuichi fixes the elevator. True, true. <laughs> so funny that we're playing as him. It's so funny that we're playing as him. There's no doubt that the killer's responsible. But it seems as though they made a huge mistake. There's no way the symbol of hope will give up just because of this little setback. We need to do everything we can on our end to prepare for the class trial. For you, Squire, give me it. Well, yeah. It seems that we too shall begin the investigation on our end. I'll take lead, of course, like always. It remains unclear how much we can actually do. 
Is this acceptable? If I show my serious side, things will not end in mere child's play. Yeah, it's true. Fuyuhiko is my break on the voice because he doesn't really have one. I'm so glad, you guys! I knew you were pumped up from the start! <laughs> yeah, I'll take lead. And he, he tuck, get, We all watch him, like, we walk with him into his room and watch him as he, like, kicks off his shoes, puts his jammies on, and, like, tucks in. <laughs> what, it's 7 a.m. at this ungodly hour? How beautiful. Brothers working together. Even though you guys are suffering from despair, I can see that you're fighting for hope. Such beauty. There's no higher honor for me than to investigate this murder with you guys that I love. My friends and my brothers that I love so dearly. We need to be grateful towards Nekomaru for becoming the foundation of hope and also the founder of the Brotherhood. Well, regardless, Whose side? Oh my, a Steiner's choice? <laughs> oh no! All of these options are so good! Whose side should I be on for this case? The killer? <laughs> what, a, what, hmm, what am I gonna do this time? <laughs> I feel like the prettiest girl at the party. Should I get in their way and fucking cause mischief for everybody? Or should I help for once? Gee, I don't know, Handy, what do you think I should do? <laughs> He, now he like he puts up his two handies and now like you can from his mind you can tell there was also a devil handy the handy that he talks with is the handy of light and the, <laughs> the handy is right hand handy is the devil handy <laughs> never tell him a thing Nagito fucking fuck him up or the rest of you guys I must make sure I face this case's mystery properly if I'm going to find out which side is the true hope <laughs> how does Nagito laugh? Uh -huh. how, how would uh -huh, uh -huh. How, does, how the fuck does, how would you laugh as Nagito? Would it be like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like a Seth Rogen laugh. <laughs> investigate. The investigate neutral. Did we even get that for Hajime at all? Is it going to be all Nagito side? I guess he like like what is there really to investigate on our side? Yeah, Devil Handy was the one who it now it like flashes back. Yeah, <laughs> this is the Sakamoto laugh. Now it flashes back and Devil Handy was like he was the one who was holding the uh what did he what did he try to the knife to to get Byakuya? Devil Handy, like, put his hand on Teru's shoulder as he was telling, um, as he was telling, uh, telling Teru about, like, the shit. Like, Devil Handy was in charge, like, was, every time Nagito did something, like, harmful, it was Devil Handy in charge. Why don't we try arranging the sequence of events? You know, so we can properly understand the situation. I mean, this is the same theme, but maybe it'll change. I have no objection, ever. Proceed. Let's look back at what happened this morning. We tried to use the elevator so we could participate in Monokuma Tai Chi. It, it cuts to them all in their like shorts and yoga mats. <laughs> Standing in front of the elevator. Damn right. Since we're staying at Strawberry House, it's in order for us to get to the meeting spot at Grape Tower, we needed to use the elevator first and go to Grape House. That was before 7 a.m. since it was right before Monokuma Tai Chi. Man. But once we realized the elevator was disabled, I seriously panicked. Anyway, since we couldn't do anything about it, we just went back to bed. <laughs> we tried to get inside the tower from Strawberry Hall. Does the, um... How did this work uh, for the first day we did Monokuma Tai Chi? I think we... Uh, lifted over to Strawberry Tower? Monokuma told us which one to go into, right? Because we wouldn't have been able to come down from our own towers and both go in that way. He, he told us where it was. I, I'm pretty sure. So that would, that checks out. 
Yeah. <laughs> Don't you guys think this is like Mega Man X3 when X gets captured in the intro stage and you suddenly are playing a zero to save him? How is it like that, Nagito? Well, I don't know, but doesn't it have that vibe? <laughs> When we actually got there, the button on the hall door was broken. <laughs> mm-hmm. This, this would have been maybe, like, right around the same time we were finding the body. And that was everything that happened this morning. Yeah, they're wearing Lululemon tights. They've got, like, sports bras on. I must say I'm surprised. I never expected that the elevator would be disabled. Oh, that's not me. That was my Gundam impression. Seven. Not bad. How was Nekomaru able to go to Grape Tower? Well, obviously he went before the elevator was disabled. When was that? If we knew that, this wouldn't be difficult. Well, now we might know something. Well, we might know what time he went. You serious? I... Fuyu heard the noise too. Oh, he saw him. It was around sunrise. Well, I guess he wouldn't have heard the pillar breaking all the way on the other side of the tower. That's when I saw him going down to the first floor. What? You personally witnessed Nekomaru going to Grape Tower? Hey, hey. When was the sunrise? Was it before that rumbling sound? Oh, they, I guess they did hear it. Remember when we all heard that and we just went back to bed? Rumbling sound. Oh, I also have super hearing. <laughs> I wiretapped Miss Sonia's room and I heard this weird sound come from over there. Huh? You don't remember? Oh, not maybe just Nagito slept through it. Right after the clock in the lounge started ringing, we heard a rumbling noise. Did that clock even ring in the first place? <laughs> His ass was so asleep. Or he's just lying. Give me some inner thoughts, Nagito. <laughs> you didn't notice either? Seriously? That thing was so loud. That's weird. <laughs> I feel like we're not quite on the same wavelength. Well, it is what it is. There's no way you guys will ever be on the same wavelength as trash like me. Looks like this is leading to an interesting case. <laughs> Us. Oh, so what? What do you? Well, like, if only I had some like weird, funny name for this, right? They're probably on the other side of the security camera, watching everything. Even though we're suffering from despair, they're watching everyone fight beautifully for hope. We have to look at all of the mundane stuff as Nagito. In a way, I'm jealous. Yo, they get to see all of those beautiful little moments. The monitor used to communicate with us. Oh, that one's pretty generic. A wall clock! <laughs> the wall clock of darkness. A wall clock! <laughs> this is the clock everyone's been talking about, right? I never knew this clock had an alarm function. I guess it... Did, did this ever wake us up? Didn't we wake up on our own, naturally? The alarm is set to 5.30 a.m. That's weird. That probably means something. <laughs> Handy, look! <laughs> Handy is... Handy is Date! Nagito's the eyeball! Handy is the body. Handy is the father of the man. <laughs> well, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Hope's Peak Academy founder, Izuru Kamukura. This name is really easy to say. I understand why the school immortalized such an important person in a portrait. But why would they put it in a place like this? What are they trying to show us, me specifically? Ring, ring. Oh my god, Nagito's reaction to the archives? That would be peak. Just as I thought, this telephone is connected to Grape House. If a means of communication was prepared, it's as if something like this was expected to happen. I'm probably over... I mean, probably not, though. Alright, let's go... God, I don't even know how to order these guys at all! Three tens! I don't have the easy order that I had with fucking... <laughs> with the coils. <laughs> Kazuchi first. 
Hey, Kazuichi, if you don't mind, can you inform me? A rumbling noise and the ringing clock. What was all that about? You... You don't know? You're so kind, Kazuichi. Thank you for taking the time to explain it to me. Uh. <laughs> I mean, alright, I guess I'll tell you. Oh my god. It happened last night. I was sleeping peacefully in my- And now we go to Kazuichi's side. I was sleeping peacefully in my room when all of a sudden I heard this huge sound. <laughs> I was sleeping in the Strawberry House cummy room. What the hell? <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, look at Gundam. Fuyu? What is he doing? This rock is... It's louder than the supreme ruler of the netherworld bellowing for a sacrifice. Gundam Grump. Don't go making all that noise so suddenly. It's not me. The wall clock just started ringing. I was just trying to stop it. The fucking wall clock. Oh, a wall clock. <laughs> a wall clock. Then hurry up and stop it already. I, I know I'm in the middle of doing that. That's when the sound finally stopped. Have those, have those alarms ever gone off? Maybe it like... So, okay, Akane heard the sound of the pillar at 5.30, according to her. Maybe the pillar was like somehow like supposed to fall, or they have to be connected in some way, right? They both went off at 5.30. I don't know if those arm alarms have ever gone off before. Have they? That totally freaked me out. Well, I'm definitely awake now. What did you do? My mental defenses were bombarded with sonic resonance. You! Fuyuhiko, was this not your doing just now? Shut up! Why would anyone do something so childish? Like, what, what, what turn on an alarm clock? I guess they're saying he, like, pulled the fire alarm, essentially. Was it, This wasn't a prank. You must have rushed over after hearing that sound, but you sure seemed to get there pretty fast. Well, yeah. I didn't rush over. I was at the lounge by coincidence. Coincidence? Huh? Do you doubt me? Hey. I don't know. I, look, we're usually not really the ones who do this stuff. <laughs> it's 5.30 a.m. I'm tired, man. I woke up early for no reason. I should go back to sleep. Was it like a gun or something? <laughs> What's that? Right, let's go to bed, boys. What was that sound? What's going on? Earthquake. It did not feel like it shook. Just hey, 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 hey. Hey. cut it out. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and that's what happened. <laughs> he, he looked like this the entire time he was giving his account. So you're the one who was clinging to Fuyuhiko? That's, That's what you got out of that! What happened afterward? Did you guys separate? Hey. We decided to wait things out, but in the end, nothing else happened. Also, And not just that, we all felt really weak, so we decided to go back to our rooms for a while. Again, it's, it's so interesting because, like... Not only are we getting an account from everybody who said, like, who clearly is saying that they didn't do it, but <laughs> also the once we're back on Hajime's side, Nagito's account is going to have to be taken as word. <laughs> so there's such potential for shenanigans on like multi levels here. <laughs> I see. What you said just now was extremely important. Thanks to that, I thought of one suspicious person. What? Who are you talking about? Me, of course. Huh? Because I wasn't there. Huh? Isn't it strange? I was the only one who didn't notice an alarm clock that was so loud, everyone else came out of their rooms. Maybe he's just a big old sleeper. Yeah, <laughs> it's all just fucking made up. Yeah, the, the Nagito's account Hajime gets is... Nagito's like, or uh, Hajime's like, put Nagito on the phone. 
and he gets his version of the account and it's just like completely different turns out there was a third house <laughs> get it do you want to do three houses on the channel and he just hangs up the phone same goes for the rumbling noise that you guys heard after that you better not be trying to confuse the shit out of us, like always. I mean, I'm not. For now, and then Dark Handy. <laughs> he he holds up his left hand. What hand is it that that is Handy? It, it's Handy's his right. Let me be Nagi Nagito when he's doing Paisies. That's his right hand. So Dark Dark Handy has to be his left hand. So what he's doing here to Fuyuhiko is he's like, of course I'm not, like, right hand wave, and then he, for now, and he left hand wave, but only he knows what it means. Hey, hey, hey. What? What are you doing? <laughs> that for now line is what make, is making us even more worried. Oh, oh, whoops, I said that out loud. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so funny. It seems there's no doubt that's, that what you guys just told me is a very important clue. <laughs> Getting his inner thoughts and also his outer thoughts is so funny. The wall clock alarm you heard first and the rumbling noise that came after? How do these noises relate to the case? It. I am interested. And I wonder why, I do wonder why Nagito slept through it. Like, obviously he could have just not heard it, but um, it's got to mean something. Wall clock. We have it. We have it. I have a point. I don't have that enabled, but... Hey, the wall clock bit, that's from I, the Somnium Files, if you're trying to follow this. <laughs> it's something that the character Iba says, and we just turned it into a fucking... We turned it into more than it is, like always. Look at how small Fuyuhiko looks on the screen there. You said that you witnessed Nekomaru at sunrise, right? So he, did he go alone then? Chiaki! Or Fuyuhiko's lying. Can you explain that to me in a little more detail or we're gonna get the details? I, I was so hungry yesterday that I couldn't sleep. I figured it was nearly morning, so I went to go check the, the clock in the lounge. Turns out I was totally off. It was still around 5 a.m. Hey. And that's when it happened. I heard the sound of the door closing off in the distance. Which would be down a flight of stairs, right? When I stuck my head out from the lounge. Damn. Look at him going. I saw Nekomar. Look at the- we can finally- we also got to see the back of Fuyuhiko's head. Which, like, again, we know, like, we we know what his hair looks like, you know, for the most part, but it really accentuates his tennis ball-like stature to see it from the back like this. He looks like a tennis ball. I saw Nekomaru's back. He was about to go down to the first floor. Nekomaru walking like that is honestly kind of hard. Do you, do, you guys, do you guys feel me on this? He looks kind of hard. <laughs> I thought about running after him, but I didn't have the energy or the willpower to do it. If I knew something like this would have happened, I would have mustered the strength to follow him. Hey, hey. But why would Nekomaru wander off so early in the morning? Yeah, he's going on ahead. He's walking off into the light. I, I was wondering about that too. I mean, I already knew I wasn't going to get any sleep. So I just sat in the lounge, stared off into space for no real reason, and waited for him to come back. Yeah, <laughs> he's listening to Jay Easy. Jeez. That's when the clock in the lounge started ringing. I guess if Fu Fuyu saying he was already here, then it makes sense why he was holding the clock. But again, no one else corroborates this account but him. And the thing he's telling us is that he he saw Neko. So you know that's interesting. From the time you saw Nekomaru until the alarm rang, you were at the lounge the whole time? What were you doing during that time? Perchance, were you thinking about everything that's happened so far and getting so choked up and emotional about me? What? 
No, and you can't just say perchance. Was I right? Of course not, you asshole. You're completely wrong. <laughs> I thought you were reminiscing about Pekko or something. But that can't be, right? Yeah. Thank you. No, you're not, Nagito. Shut up. Fuck. Fuyuhiko, that burp was diegetic also. Fuyuhiko witnessed Nekomaru at 5 a.m. That's the time Nekomaru apparently went down to the first floor. At 5.30 a.m., the alarm clock in the lounge started ringing. When that happened, you two woke up and left your rooms to go to the lounge where Fuyuhiko was. Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Let's make now history. that I think about it, something might have happened to Nekomaru during that noise. His final scream is... <laughs> hmm. If Neko died when he heard that sound, doesn't that mean we have an alibi? Alibi? I mean... You don't got an alibi for me. Maybe they all did it. They're all aiming for that top brotherhood spot. What if all the boys except for Hajime and Nagito die in this case? <laughs> I mean, I know that there can only be one killer, but... Can't argue with that. Might be too soon to declare that just yet. We can't be certain unless we first clear up the mystery surrounding that rumbling noise. A rumbling noise. Did something heavy fall over? Maybe you should call the homie. I'm gonna phone a friend. Based on what everyone just told me, there's another thing I'm curious about. We heard the alarm clock in the lounge before the rumble. Right. Hey. I'm go I'm, I'm I think I should get my moment right now. I want my spot, man. Oh, you're here still? <laughs> Once the elevator's fixed, I'm not gonna let you anywhere near it! Kazuichi... <laughs> downstairs, complaining for some reason. What should we do? There's something I wanted you to do. After the elevator's fixed, do you want to play games with me? I'm like, no. <laughs> well, actually then... The, do you want to investigate the clock in the first floor lounges, first floor lounges of Grape House and Strawberry House? Right after that, you heard a strange rumbling sound that didn't quite make sense. Huh? Hey, bastard! What is he saying? Um. So after the elevator, oh, clocks. So he wants him to look at the Grape House clocks too. Nagito delegating. What a, I, I feel like we're missing maybe a sentence here in these two Nagito lines. But I guess he's just asking to investigate it. I would investigate it myself, but by the time the elevator's fixed, there's a chance I may not be with you all anymore. <laughs> oh my god, he's <laughs> as, he, as Nagito is saying this, he's like gearing up. He's cracking his handy knuckles. Yep. I think it's time for me to go solo the final dead room. <laughs> yep. I'm basically the guy. What? I'm counting on you. This is raw. <laughs> he gives him like a like a two-fingered like salute. Fuyuhiko, I always considered you my strongest friend. Carry the mantle for me if when I'm gone. What? You're I you haven't earned this! I <laughs> Where are you going, Nagito? <laughs> Don't cry for me. <laughs> Here comes the main event. There's only one. He's like painting war paint on handy. There's only one thing I can do for them. I can go to that place for everyone's sake. Dissolve the Brotherhood if I die. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
I can't let them face that danger. I must be the pariah who go. I guess this makes sense for his character, though. Like, if someone's gonna die trying to figure out the dead room, he would be the one to, like, lay himself down. <laughs> My final act as president. Did we even talk to Gundam? Oh, I missed him. Shoot. Does Nagito have uh, Chibimi? He doesn't. That's pretty funny. Uh, I have to pee, but I might play oh, just a little bit longer. I have to pee, but I think I'm just going to hold it, you guys. <laughs> Damn okay. Right. Fuyuhiko's on clock duty. I feel like this is the wrong, like, what if you're Nagito, are you putting Fuyuhiko on clock duty, who's, like, the one most in charge to have, like, lied about the clock? Or is he just so one million brained that, like, God, I feel like my normal speaking voice is turning into him. Is he so one million brained that, like, that's why he did it? The elevator and the door at the far back of Strawberry Hall. I guess we do want to check those. Also, like, what if there's some little doll around or something? Can I go anywhere else? Can we see... Did we see Gundam's deluxe room yet? Usually, I guess, the, um... I'm gonna give the game a little credit here and say that I would imagine if we're gonna find one more Monokuma in investigation that it's gonna be somewhere relevant to the investigation and not just hidden in somebody's room. However, I'm not gonna give it that much credit and I am gonna make like a fifth save here. <laughs> but like just in case. And if it turns out we missed it or something, you guys, I am so goddamn going back. I'll just do it off stream. Kazuichi, 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 Kazuichi. Yep, it's my time, baby. What if I did the entire, like, in, even like my normal talking like this, just m me addressing you guys the chat, what if I did that in Nagito voice also? The elevator's still being repaired, so get lost. Stop getting in the way. All, I think when Kazuichi's doing this, both of the other boys are like standing up, standing like above, like around him, like, yep. Oh, you're, oh, okay. Oh, Alan Wrench. All right, yep, that's what I do too. <laughs> they're like, <laughs> they, got their, they got their thumbs in their pockets. They're like, oh, okay, yep. <laughs> Looks like I'm disliked. Well, it's understandable. I mean, compared to you talented fellows, I'm just a piece of trash. Uh, yeah, I mean, compared to me, anyone would be, but whatever. I can think of only one reason why the killer barred the door to Strawberry Hall. They wish to prevent me from going to the crime scene. I'm so helpful, after all. Which means the killer was afraid, afraid of the conclusion promised by my assumptions. <laughs> yeah, Gundam. I, that's that's exactly what happened. Oh fuck it. Oh okay, so it really is broken. Again, I just like why would they have to have done this? It ha it must have something to do with like the sequence of events. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, just a funny joke between the boys, right? I'm just playing. And then he like crosses his fingers as he picks up the real socket wrench and gives it to him. Um, okay, I guess we're just looking at the door. The strawberry hall door that leads to the tower. The button's broken. There's no way it'll open. As I recall, based on what Fuyuhiko told Hajime over the phone, the other side of this door is also barred with chains. They must have been really cautious to go through the trouble of barring the door from both sides. Something about that seems a little suspicious. Let's make history. The Gundam? I'm I, the killer's intent. I can only think of one explanation. Gundam. <laughs> Perhaps they intend to keep me from enter- Oh, he already said this. Listen well. The killer was afraid! Afraid of me! That was probably it. 
I can't tell if that was sarcastic or if that was sincere with this with this character. With Hajime, it obviously would have been sarcastic. With Nagito, I'm not sure. Does he believe in Gundam's dark powers? All right, Button Town. Well, we didn't really learn anything about that. We just, again, from this side, we now see how broken the button is. I wasn't able to, like, I didn't get, I didn't know that before. Um, out of the way, you. Me and Kazuichi, Hajime and Kazuichi might have hung out together, but Nagito and Kazuichi have definitely not hung out, except for when they were on the same team, like, two weeks ago. But that was just more that they were both in the same place at the same time. If I press the button next to the elevator, the door should open so I can ride it. But nothing happens when I press it. It looks like it's definitely broken. What are you doing? You're getting in the way of my repairs. Man. Okay. Again, like... Kazuichi seems like he would be able to have done this and also break the door. Well, the thing, the button for the strawberry door is pretty, looks pretty just like they just ripped it apart. Again, I don't know who could have done that other than Neko himself. You see that silver cover under the button? It looks like that's the elevator's control panel. They probably opened it up and messed with the settings. But the cover's locked, so they would have been able to, wouldn't have been able to open it unless they had some kind of... Tool. Are there any tools in this building? Uh. Oh. The control panel on Grape House side that's broken then. Let me switch over to Haji's side with the L and R buttons. Woo! It's the control panel on the Grape side that's broken then? Yeah. If one of if the one on this side is, isn't broken, that's the only thing I can think of. I'm pretty sure there should be a control panel over there too. Okay. Well, that. Fuck then. <laughs> then how? How? <laughs> that means doesn't that mean it has to be somebody on grape side? Yeah, he looks at the bottom screen. Hajime. <laughs> That's crazy. So the L, we know the elevator at least. So okay. Fuck. Then how did they like? It's um, if it's not on that side, then who? How could it be? Whoever did this is absolutely like separating the sides is trying to play them against each other. Wouldn't that mean the last person who used this elevator went to Grape House? Uh, it's official. The elevator was disabled on the other side. Hey. I don't have time to talk to you. Hurry up and go away. Ooh. Trying to do repairs without any tools, man. No matter how much time I get, it won't be enough. You don't have any tools. Why don't you use this? Huh? <laughs> it's my handy dandy Swiss Army knife. Whoa. Where did you get this? <laughs> what? Steeter? Oh, I just have always had this. If we're going to explore a new island, it's essential to bring this kind of equipment, right? Are you serious? You've been walking around with a tool this whole time? <laughs> oh, something wrong? Uh, it's nothing. Well, I'll let you have this. Your repairs might go faster now, right? What is he going to use the Swiss Army knife for? I guess that is a screwdriver on it, right? <laughs> I also have this! And he pulls out a gun. <laughs> yeah, want some Doritos? Anyway, you want some wheat thins? In exchange, I want you to do something. Huh? The multi-tool has a compass. <laughs> Oh, uh, what does this mean for us? After the elevator's fixed, I want you to ride the elevator and see how the compass reacts. Oh my god. Where does it go? <laughs> I'm more of a Trisket guy. What the hell for? To be honest, there's something I still don't understand regarding the structure of this building. Here we go. It's, it's different than we assumed. 
So please. Yeah, because if we get in the... Let's see. How would it work? If we get in the lift and it moves... In... If it moves horizontally, then the... The north would change, right? But if it doesn't, then that means that it doesn't work like that. <laughs> They're made of shreds, just like my family life! It wouldn't change direction unless the elevator rotates. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. It would have to like... Yeah, you're right. It would have to... To turn. What would that mean then? I guess maybe the elevator could. I mean, what if the elevator is in the middle? The it, again, it's it's possible with this that the tower, <laughs> the towers aren't connected actually. <laughs> Except then, how would she? Uh, what, what if it's a matter transporter? Because Chi we did see Chiaki's thing in there. It's interesting. What if it's a matter transporter? It's like the fucking, um... Uh, what, what is it like? What is it like? There's something so similar to this that I'm trying to think of. I don't know. I don't have it. I really need this information to find out the relationship between the building and the elevator. Good thing I have a compass. <laughs> If Nagito gave us this compass from Hajime's side, would you ever, like, I would be the most Zebrag sip at this man of all time. I don't really get it, but as long as I'm just checking a compass, I don't mind. I'm glad, then I'll leave the rest to you. Elevator. All right, when he gets ready to go into the dead room, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'm going to go to the final bathroom. The person who disabled the elevator would be stuck at Grape House. They should still be at Grape House, but... No, it's now too soon for that. But I won't be late to find the answer, even after I finish investigating that room. And he walks up to the Monokuma, uh... <laughs> oh, that's in the other house. <laughs> what if he was talking about the Monokuma Museum? Hello, Strawberry. <laughs> Nagito said that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. But I'll be right back, baby, and we'll keep going with this. It, this is insane. I'm loving this. They really know, like, this is such a like game two thing to do is like give you a, like give you a day as another character or something like that. Um, hell yeah. I will be right back. Don't go away. Um, who's in charge? It's I'm putting. <laughs> who would Nagito put in charge? I'm putting Isaac in charge. <laughs> Isaac, hold down the fort for me. Who said that? Oh no, where is he? Where's he coming from? All right, I'll be right back.
Oh my god. I'm back. <laughs> I come back after leaving, leaving Isaac in charge and, and there's a message that's been deleted in my chat. <laughs> I should have never left Nagito Isaac in charge. Oh man, we got them with the blood lick thing now. <laughs> I'm looking at it. <laughs> blood school? <laughs> blood, oh, blood schlorp. Hey, Isaac? What leading rhymes with cheating? <laughs> hey, good bits, guys. Clown room, clown alert. You guys ready? I'm going in. The final dead room. Only those who in the life-threatening game contain contained within will reach the octagon. What? I bet it's nothing. I bet this is like a... This is like a bit. Inside the octagon, the ultimate weapon awaits, Ra. There's no doubt Nekomaru's killer has been to that place. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. You know what I was thinking about while I was on break? Sometimes when, when I go to the bathroom and I'll, I'll get water, sometimes I'll have a handful of like chips or like a, like a quick snack or something. Um, sometimes when I'm, when I'm on break, especially... Um, in investigation and trial nights, I like will be thinking about the case, and then I'll realize that like I'm not like I'm I'm in my kitchen. <laughs> um, but this time I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about um, if the Nagito Makoto connection is mostly meant as fan service. I think it would have been really cool for them to have played the Danganronpa One investigation theme or like a remix of it for Nagito's side. If it turns out that there is some real story co connection between the two, I would I'm, I could see like why they wouldn't do that. But I think that could have been really cool. I feel like that's a missed op, if not. And also I like that song. No matter where I search, there are no weapons anywhere in this building. Regardless of the weapon used to kill Nekomaru, the killer must have obtained it there. If that's the case, I should get going. Honey, did search. <laughs> hey, <laughs> there are no weapons in this building other than my <laughs> trusty Swiss Army knife. Just holding onto that and never using it. Unlike everyone else, I don't mind dying at all. Do we think he could have used it? What could Nagito have done with the Swiss Army Knife that he didn't do? Anything? I should go. Go. Oh yeah, baby, here we go. It's an escape room. It like really is an escape room this time. I'm gonna have to like solve this, huh? Because we have to, right? To get into the armory or what, whatever it's supposed to be. This is going to be a long one. So this is the final dead room. Except for there's really not that much else to investigate. The Monokuma has to be in here. I really hope that Nagito finds it and then he like just tosses it to Hajime like <laughs> uh, like when, when this is all over. Hi, Naf. They, I mean, they start at 7 p.m. every week. This is the final dead room. It feels a little eerie. Hope I don't get scared. Nah, can you imagine? Clack. Did the door just clack? Yeah, you're 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 just in time for <laughs> this. <laughs> I see the door is designed to automatically lock. It's not. If not, it's not. I would have turned back if it stayed unlocked. I think he need, he needs an if in there, but. Oh, here we go. I was wondering, like, 
I was really hoping she would show up because I really want to know what Nagito thinks about this pitiable wretch. And, I, and also, she's like been not around very much. Or was she was she stuck in here the whole time? This rules. Here's my here's my Chiaki for this. <laughs> Didn't did we see Monomi somewhere else in the uh, Strawberry House and Grape House since we got in here? I think we did. She was out at one point. She was out in the open. She must have got stuck in here when maybe she came in with the killer. <laughs> And I thought the door finally opened. Now it's locked again. I figured you'd turn up since I haven't seen you in a while, but I never expected you to be here. Nagito, not Hajime? Why are you in such a dangerous place? I, I heard the body announcement, discovery announcement, and I thought something happened in this room. Oh, I guess, I guess that makes sense. You thought somebody died in here. And you got locked in when you came inside? You're a fool from head to toe. It would be foolish to investigate the final dead room. Bonk, I'm truly ashamed. Um. <laughs> the life-threatening game is gonna start soon, right? It'd be annoying if you got in my way. I mean, don't you want me to like hang around and be your little sidekick for a while though? No! I have enough of those already! And he looks down at his hands. Are you planning to do it? If I don't, I can't get out of here, right? Dead room defeat Monomi way of the horde. <laughs> Besides, the only way a trash like me can be useful is by risking my life for everyone's sake. That's wrong. Oh, nice uh Nagito is not trash at all. There's no such thing as a human being who doesn't deserve to live. Gr Grumpa. <laughs> I know I'm being so hurt. This I know that I'm saying my image line right now, but my heart is super scared and I'm pounding like crazy, dude. Are you sure you're not just excited? <laughs> Isn't it so exciting to think that I can finally be useful for the sake of those who shoulder hope? And there she goes. <laughs> Small. Yes. If there's anything you don't get, just ask me. Seek a way out. By all means, I'll help you and make sure you get out of here. It Bring it on, escape game. Sounds like something a teacher would say, but I shouldn't expect too much from her. Click eye. All right, let's acquire Monomi. Alrighty. Let's first start by thoroughly searching all the stuff in this room. I see, so you intend to do nothing. Um. Uh. <laughs> Tipsy's in here with him, too. <laughs> Alright, well, I gotta... Oh, fuck, is this... Oh. <laughs> is this, like... Does Hajime want this, or... Uh... Let me switch over to Haji's side again. Woo it's Monokuma's plushie. You want me to punish you guys? Looks like the splushy talks when you squeeze the tummy. Thrills, chills, kills. One ten thousand dollars. Would you pay? Ooh, uh, an advertisement. Would you pay? Um. All right. And I can't do my like ping here either. You want me to? Ping? Yeah. I mean, compared Thrills, to the sticker. Chills. How much was the sticker? One million dollars. It's a steal. Monomi is a hint si hint system? Okay, then I'm not talking to Monomi. Yo, is, is there a creature under here? <laughs> the glint of an eye. I was just saying that to fuck with Monomi. <laughs> I can't reach it. Looks like the bed is fixed to the floor. I can't even move it. Something thin and long. Monomi, shut up! I'm trying to solve the mystery! <laughs> Watch the news! Watch the news in blood. I might get cursed by just looking at it! Oh, north, east, west, south, I think. Right? 
And I have a compass. Secret code? Nagito, do you happen to know what this means? It's a common riddle. Okay. Um, and, you know, we got four corners here, right? Oh, it says Leon. Don't we, do we know anybody named Swen? Isn't there somebody like that on our, in the team? No. <laughs> okay, this has got to be like the final code, right? All right, code hanger. <laughs> it's floating. Code rack. <laughs> it closes it. <laughs> They're cut from the same cloth. <laughs> that little, yeah, that little gamer girl, maybe? Are you sure her, her name wasn't like Swenya? There's <laughs> Monami. There's Sonya. Oh yeah, she <laughs> she was the ultimate gymnast, right? Okay, one hanger hanging in the closet. Oh, I can use this to get the thing out from under the bed. All right, this is also five. This is like DK64. This is like DK64, guys. <laughs> Maybe the last four digits of Hajime's credit card. He just takes it out. <laughs> Swenya, King O did it, neighbor. I don't know who that is, but you're probably right. <laughs> okay, I guess I can I use utilize this. Interact. <laughs> Maybe I need something else to, like, bend the coat hanger. Chiaki would have crushed this. I wish we could have, we could have gotten to see her in here. Except maybe she did! Nagito, we have a problem. These iron bars are completely blocking the door. As long as we don't do something of these bars, we won't be able to escape from this room. And this is four. Or... Is it? Ick. Seven, six. Oh my god, don't tell me. <laughs> Alright, more on that later. Uh, okay, three. <laughs> Interesting. I mean, so do I have four numbers? And maybe one, you know, that might be part of this eventually. This looks like four. Seven. Again, if this is a six, the line should be under here. So it's possible this is an upside down nine. But <laughs> maybe we say that's a six for now. And we got a three, too. And oh, but no, there's five numbers. There's another one in here. It's DK64. All right, let me look at some other of this bullshit. TV Steiner? Oh, a CRT. Chiaki will love this. Except he wouldn't say that because he doesn't know. He doesn't know what Chiaki likes. Or what her name is. What did he say about this? Broken. Okay, and I can look at the numbers. Look at the nine guy. There's something written in blood on the wall. Um, it's the number six. I know all my numbers so good. Nine guy. These blood symbols alone don't make sense, but maybe if I combine them with something else? We, yeah, we could, maybe maybe moving the CRT into the closet will get us further. Um, and I can't, I don't seem to be able to use my compass yet. I was thinking like, north, east, west, south. If we knew which direction north was, we could do like, the sequence of numbers then except there oh there is though that five is on this door oh yeah he gave it away <laughs> fuck i thought he still had it does he say the same thing for all the numbers but there's probably some way to find it out still or maybe hinagito will remember what direction north was there's, maybe there's something in here you gotta check all these to make sure that they're uh that they open. I Monomi is like trying to like yank forcibly on this one. He's like, no, no! 
if it doesn't if it if it doesn't feel like it immediately is gonna open, then it's not meant to open. You're, <laughs> you're gonna break the escape room. <laughs> it's locked. It won't open. It's locked. Thank you, Nagito. Oh, pliers. This might be useful for something. I should grab this. I guess they do open though. Uncompress password. Yo! <laughs> this looks like some password. Yes, Sis gets on. Please don't. Please do not yank on the. <laughs> Sis gets over the loudspeaker. If it doesn't seem like it will immediately open, it's not meant to open. Oh, Kita. The first letters of the day are the, the week are probably the password. Day of the week? What's that? And he looks at the camera and winks. Get it? Uncompress? I doubt it's that simple. Stool? Stool is not a thing. Crimson bullet! You guys wanna see it? And he plays the clip. Roll the clip, Monomi. <laughs> Roll the clip, Tipsy! <laughs> All right, what the fuck is this? Oh, yo. It's locked. It doesn't look like you can input the password. How are we gonna turn it on? I keep like turn because I'm so used to Chiaki being like my buddy. I'm, I keep, keep turning Monomi into Chiaki voice. They're like not two different voices anyway. They're pretty similar, but. Monomi sounds more like a baby. Nagito, we have a problem. These iron bars are completely blocking the door. As long as we do, don't, don't, oh, this is the same text. No, boo. Boo, shut up, Mahiru narrator. What is wrong with you? Why would you ever ask me that? <laughs> First, I got a question. Who is she? <laughs> or, or is he saying that? <laughs> oh, who is she? <laughs> you got it, homeboy. Like, do you think she's metaphorical? Or? Um, okay. This is all the same stuff. Can I look at the five also? I got five on it. Um. Okay. Um, all right, can I combine? Interesting, is this not what we would do then yet? You want me to? Thrills! I really can't use the coat hanger yet. Because we that's definitely what... Oh, I guess maybe this one doesn't... Uh, oh, no. Straighten it out, it'll become a thin stick. Engage. <laughs> maybe we got to look at these things. I haven't even investigated them yet. Four-digit password. If you put input 9999... Oh. Nine, password combinations, it'll eventually open. Try past. I'll leave that mindless... You, why don't we figure that out? <laughs> I'll decline as well. Yo. All right. All right. I don't know. But again, we don't. I don't know if I need to use this one first or this one, unless this doesn't have an input. This is an unlocking device for the bars. Oh, okay, this does have a password. <laughs> There don't seem to be any buttons for inputting a password. Yeah. Uh-oh! Looks like it might be under this lid, but it doesn't seem to open. Alright, is that light always the... This is, this is the, the... These blinking lights are so goddamn escape room. This is like the last thing we did in that escape room at HouseCon before we timed out on it. There was like a blinking light thing. I guess they had nothing else for him to do in the testing room. 
His new ability, the Gorilla Grab, is already quite <laughs> used quite a bit in the level. <laughs> he just told her about DK64 the whole time. Shoot! Can I, like, pliers this open? I'm not sure if they're, like, maybe we just don't know how we're, like, to use our things yet. What, do, is there a pattern going here? It does look like it's, like, that, 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 that. But I don't know yet what that means, really. Um, hmm, okay. I mean, we could always just assume that I can, I can, tr I mean, there's no penalty for trying this. If this forward is north, then it would be three, six, possibly. <laughs> Uh, five, seven. So I could try that. I don't know what the game really wants me to think. Like, how much of it is a, a game and how much of it's, like, meant to be what Nagito would see. What was it? Three, six, five, seven? Okay. I wasn't confident in that. Because, like, there's got to be more to it than that. Feel free to ask me anytime. Shh. Shut up, Monomi. Did I look at this? Oh, yes, we did. Maybe this one's north. Might as well try it. So that would be seven. Five. What's this one again? Six. And three. We're gonna have to learn, and also, again, <laughs> I think that this is actually a nine, but I don't know, like, I don't know, the, the game hasn't showed us how to, like, prove that yet. I'm gonna keep looking at things. Um. Maybe if I combine them with something else. There's nothing else I can look at here. Can I look at this one? What even, oh! Maybe this is, again, it looks like a four, but also maybe this is my um, compass. Um, the number four. <laughs> Monomi is Dora the Explorer energy, energying this for sure. Here we go, yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like a different symbol to me. For instance, a symbol that you often see on maps. Okay, yes. So is that my arrow then? The, the like, uh, triangle part of the four? Because that would be north. But I definitely tried that. Um, but that seems important. Right, if it's northeast, it also says watch the new, but I think that's just to tee off this. If this is north, maybe I, did I do it wrong? Three, six, uh, five, seven. Did I? Is that what I put in? I might have had it mixed up. I'm trying it, and I'm trying three nine five seven after two. Dinner. Okay, not that. I just like, I would imagine that the game would, if that was what it actually is, the game would want me to like figure that out first, like in the game, you know? But it, maybe not. Okay, no. Oh, I put well. I put it in wrong anyway. Th it, should, it would be three nine five seven. That time I I just put it in wrong.
if we're saying that that's the case. Five. Hi, Fu. Yeah! He's a genius. All right, we, well, we solved the first part of it. <laughs> a digital camera and a USB stick, huh? It. It looks like a key. This is kind of cool. Isn't this kind of bitchin', Monomi? The boys are gonna love this! <laughs> and a digital camera! There's no battery inside the camera. Okay, maybe that's what's under here. Uh, well I can use this on my computer, maybe. Plog. It's a laptop. A laptop! Looks like... <laughs> yeah, the camcorder LP is back on the table. All right! It's on, but it's locked, so I can't really access it. It doesn't look like you can input the password. How are we gonna turn it on, dude? She's crawling. She's like climbed up onto his head and like is just hanging out up there. How do I use these? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Equip. <laughs> Go! <laughs> okay. Maybe now I can do the, that I've looked at that. Or... <laughs> Why was I also thinking Spider-Man 1? Go, web! Fly! Oh, I bet I can look at... I probably have my controls on this, right? What is it? Uh, start? Uh, set item. Okay. Well, the game didn't tell me that, but... You know. Alright, so there's other things we can use here. So maybe we were supposed to get another hint. But actually, I don't think so. I think the battery is what's under the bed. And so we'll just use the coat hanger to get that. Oh. The memo. Oh yeah, I didn't even I didn't even look at this. Okay, the first letter of the days of the week. Sw Swendy? <laughs> Is this something I can like Oh, these are going to be on the keys though, right? It's probably gonna have me put this in. It's Matwutfus. Was that that little girl's name? <laughs> Error. It was wrong, wah wah wong. Wrong, wong. I doubt it's that simple. But I don't have the days of the week that I can look at, huh? Can the pliers open this? Let me equip these. Okay, no. Um, well, let's get this. Maybe this is a key. It. This is fun. I like this. Great way to change it up, for sure. Oh, I have to point it at the bed. There's something shiny. And also that we're doing this is Nagito. That's <laughs> that is the real, like, that's the sauce. Not only is the game the gameplay style like a completely different thing and we're doing a like a little puzzle escape room, but we're also doing it as a different character. <laughs> There's something shining under the bed. It could so easily have been Hajime and Chiaki in here solving this, but instead it's Nagito and fucking Monomi. I can't reach it. Looks like the bed is blue, but ball on the ball attached to the cup. Um, okay, what about, like, combine? Maybe I have, maybe I have a button for that, too. Whoops. Or maybe I can rip the bear apart with this tweezers. How do I put him away? Oh. Um. Doesn't look like there's, like, a use button. Interesting. Interesting. And I can't look at the days of the week thing. What if I try to pry this open? We thought about that, right? Oh, I have a whole screen for this. Uh, 
Okay. Um, this wouldn't have anything to do with the days of the week, right? Can I look at the camera? Oh, yeah, this is all that he said about this. Maybe the... Um, maybe instead of a hook to get the battery, this is to pick the lock. We could try that. Because all he said is that it can turn into something, like, long and thin, right? Maybe I can pick the lock. <laughs> no, I can't. I think the bed, the thing under the bed must be a key, then. We did try the pliers on this also, didn't we? Hey... Came in? I can fashion bunny ears on the TV! Look at the coat hanger, then use the item. Oh, okay. All right. Use. <laughs> I was looking for combine. The wire. We might be able to use this for both things, actually. But it's definitely for getting this. We know for sure. Desk key. Maybe we can get... What are we going to escape into, Monomi? The fucking drawer? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> His classic catchphrase. Tipsy... Uh, tipsy... Oh my god, Monomi. He said it! <laughs> but... Oh, scissors! Scissors! If you use these to cut the iron bars... You're joking, right? Or is that supposed to be an indirect hint? Don't backseat me! <laughs> My beautiful scissors! I'm sorry! Good. Alright, and the scissors... What, uh, what? Maybe I can, maybe this? Rip open the bear? I get it, I'll destroy the bear! Oh, that's the bed. Uh... You want me to poop? You want me to punish you? Pretty. <laughs> I probably can do this though, right? Why will it? I don't know which of these is right. This? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I was thinking. Let's just fucking cut this thing open. Enough already. I didn't eat any grannies! What a loud thing. Cut it open right away. Batteries. Jesus, he fucking, he slashed it down the middle. Just like she. All right, now we're gonna combine this. Now we can use the digital camera. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, this is the, this is our, in our days of the week. Looks like a photo of, of a space poster that's on a wall somewhere. A wall poster. I wonder what it means. Okay. Can I... Okay, why don't... Let's do this, then. Based on the memo and picture in the digital camera, the answer must be... Okay. I have to now look at this first, though. Okay. <laughs> Where... Show me the fucking memo! Where were they... How were they before? I bet this will show it to me, though, right? If I can, I just need to see, I need to visually see this. <laughs> oh, it's gone? Uh, what did we start with, one? Oh, no, no, it would just be in order of the letters in order, maybe? I think it's it was letters, right? Because we tried the days of the week. All right, so let me look at the planets. Because <laughs> sun is the first one. This is kind of like undead on luck. Oh yeah, you're right, it is in the desk drawer. So that would be S M V E M J S. I'm trying that first. And then if it's not, we'll go look at the numbers that it correlates to. Except that's probably what it is, right? Because the nu the um I think that the numbers is what it is then. 
because this gives us the letters. So the that the numbers are what are or, or the other way around. Yeah. Well, no, but that would be. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get it. Don't don't tell me. I know obviously what we're doing here. I just need to put these together. So this starts with zero. But the the letters are out of order on this because we were thinking it was days of the week. Oh no! No, it wouldn't be. Be Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. So it is the it, it is the letters then. <laughs> we have the numbers. Otherwise, it would just go in order, wouldn't it? Yeah, S, M, and a bunch of bleeps. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Sun. Would you ever start with the sun? Mercury. Venus. Fifth. Third. <laughs> uh, lower than those other ones. Did I mess it up? Oh, I missed one. Whoops. Did I, what did I skip? Earth? Okay, that's wrong. Shut up, Monomi. Shut up! I was thinking about the Sailor Scouts. They're all from Earth. I was doing a bit. Venus. Earth, Mars, don't fuck it up, Snake, Jupiter, Saturn. If this is wrong, I'm ending the stream. Whoops, did I just put nine? <laughs> did I put Y? How many do I have now? One, It's there's input delay in this. No, I didn't put nine. Yay, is this Othello? This has to be my flashing things, right? Hmm. Is this Othello? What's everybody's? Monomy, what's your favorite Shakespeare? Is this binary came in? Hmm. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Well, we know how me and Paul solving puzzles with binary has gone on this. No, mono me. Um. Okay. It's got to be those beeping the things, but there's too many numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe I have to type this in on the keyboard. Is this a keyboard? That only that doesn't have enough uh, numbers on it. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think I would have anything else to do here then, right? Or do I use this now? This just I think let us put the code in on the laptop, right? Mm, leave it to me. Okay, this is our last trial. We need to use this on this. I'm pretty positive. I don't think there's anything else we can even do. Unless! But also, I can't even get this open yet, right? So maybe not. The lights on top of the unlocking device actually represent the number. If I use the signal book on the laptop to decipher it... Um. Even if you know the number, how will you be able to put it in? Okay. Look. <laughs> I'm never gonna be remember the sequence of lights though. Is it th 
three one two two. Why would they be different places though? Hey man, don't pressure me about fucking binary. Let me look at the computer now. Leave it to me. Also, how would I put it in? What did he say about this again? Oh, maybe it's this thing then. We have to use this same thing again? Okay, I see now. Um, alright, let's... Well, this only has four numbers on it anyway, so maybe some of this stuff is just kind of for confusion. If we're thinking it's three, one, two, two. Oh, no, 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 no. What if we, if we orient this thing... 90 degrees, then we have four sets of numbers, right? And that would tell me what it needs to be. So what's first? Like, two dots. Two dots and a little dot in the middle? That one would be... I don't have one like that, though. <laughs> Unless they're, like... Team Aqua symbol, unless the like filled in ones are the right ones, like the lit ones. I just would not. Well, why would it ever be like that? But I guess that would leave us. That would make it four, right? I mean, we, let's try that. Four. Let's see. Unless, but also, how, how would I be able to tell what direction I'm supposed to? Oh no, that wouldn't matter. It's binary, duh. Would it matter? Because like this is the th the second dot from the right. So that would maybe be seven if we're saying it's like that. That would be so. If we're saying it's like that, no, 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 no. I'm I'm wrong. I'm sorry. That's not it. I don't think this even has one. <laughs> I mean, I'm, listen, I'm just talking out loud here. It would need to be one of those two middle dots only, and the only one like that is two. But that has it, if that's it lit up, then where is that first part? Bushma. You know? The white, like again, the white ones have to be the lit dots, don't they? They have to be. There also isn't one where it's, there are also aren't ones where there's two double-sided ones though either, so that doesn't make sense either. Hmm. A girl. A hemer mancha. I'm right back, I'm right back in the DK64 hot seat trying to figure this shit out. This is just like Donkey Kong 64. I know what I know what Zebra feels like playing uh, Zero Escape now. I'm in casino mode right now. We got to be close with this. Maybe it. Maybe when it like, brrrp, brrrp, like to the right, it's showing me that's the orientation. But again, that doesn't make sense. And also, why is it like? Oh, it's. It's showing me on here, isn't it? How the fuck am I supposed to even see that shit? Are you gonna see that on a PS Vita? <laughs> Is there a way for me to look at this closer but not look at the screen? Y 
That looks different even than what this is. Hold on, hold on. Can we take a photo with my camera? <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> it looks like that's what it's saying. In which case... No pictures or videos, please, but this has like less spaces on it even, right? It's not Othello, you idiot. <laughs> and what the heck was the point of the TV? Is TV Steiner? Leave it to me. I wonder if the TV is something. Is it a battery powered TV? I'm just wondering if we have like the way to like see this. It looks like what it's saying is it goes left to right of this little arrow on the screen. That, maybe that's tripping me up worse than it should be, though. Maybe that's not important. Is that important? Or actually, is there a way that I can see that more clearly? Even that, like, it, it wouldn't match up with what we're looking at. Unless these are, like, cut in half. And it's four and four on the, le like, zero through four and then five. Oh, no, that wouldn't work anyway. There's only four lights. Aren't there? No, there's five lights. It could be like that. Would that do it for me? Because if you split them up like that, then I would just need to look at if there's an orientation on either side that matches what I'm looking for. And I think there is. Uh, what's the first one? All right, the first one is all of them lit up, but the second from the left. If we look at it like that, there's not one like that. <laughs> Maybe there's a combination of one like that somewhere in here, though. And it's more like you have to look at it all together. I don't even see something like that. Listen, I, we wanted a challenging puzzle. Is there any orientation of this that gives me that? <laughs> it was when we were looking at it on its side, wasn't it? Oh, but no, we were saying that's only... The, light, the white one has to be the lit, the lit up light, right? Yeah, white is definitely on. And it looks like it is... Unless it, like, is backwards. Is there anywhere it's, like, uh, three on but one off in any, like, pattern? I don't even see one where there's a group of, well, you know, never mind actually, hold on. It's frustrating because I feel like we're like so close and also that we could be overthinking it somehow. If we think about it a different way, on that first row at the top, they go on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Or the opposite of what I said. Um, 
so the and the even numbers are on and the odd numbers are off. And on the second row they go in twos. But I don't know about the other ones. It bugs me so much that it looks different on this little baby screen <laughs> than it does on this screen. Look at the light pattern again. Again, if we're saying that this is these are four numbers, then this like one on off on on is what is tripping me up kinda, you know? Also on, remember? She would have solved this shit immediately and she would have just put in random numbers. Look. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm misreading it once again. <laughs> hold on. Maybe it's not so much... Could that be? I feel like that still leaves me in the same spot. sense I'm now also realizing that like th zero has no lights on so maybe it's like what lights are on on the thing yo what's up monkey like I mean that's what we've been saying this whole time but I'm just trying I'm just like thinking I was just looking at it a different way there kind of hey thank you for the resub Are we thinking that, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. It's that when this flashes like that, it's resetting. Like, like that's the way that it's letting me know that the pattern is over. And that we start with on, 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 off. And then it's this one on, those two on, those two on. But again, like, <laughs> I don't know. Eleven, two, three, twelve. 
<laughs> but I don't, it's, one, you can't put that on the thing, so that's obviously wrong. And also, unless it's unless it's digital root, um, <laughs> different for a different franchise, that would that would still not. I still don't understand how we even get that from here, right? I think I remember the dot sequence. Mono me, I'm I swear to God. <laughs> Writing it on a notepad, all right, done. Let me pull up my phone notepad and I'll type them out with like O's and X's. Alright, again, if we're saying this is the reset, then it would be... But again, right the way I have them written right now <laughs> is that they're all like vertical on each other. <laughs> but I don't feel like that's wrong also. I don't feel like that's correct. We gotta be like so close though. I'm sure we've like danced past it a thousand times. Leave it to me. Don't like okay. If if I feel like if we can solve, yo, okay, man. If we can solve like so, okay. Just walking through my thought process. Obviously, we're thinking that in some way the combination of on and off uh, b lights on this thing corresponds to whichever numbers on this thing match with that, and then we put the numbers onto this. Um, but what is what is bothering me is that. <laughs> At least from how I've been looking at it, light on, off, light on, light on here doesn't seem to exist on this, like, graphic. I think that is the big, that is what's puzzling me right now. So maybe the lights just mean something different, but like what would the... <laughs> hmm. Figured out what the graphic is? It's Othello. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Came in and told me it was binary, but I like don't understand what that means. To me, at least, it doesn't mean anything. Based to do we are you are you, are you do you want me to write out the this whole thing? I guess I can go get a notepad. <laughs> or what am I writing out? Just the order of the lights? Yeah, I have that. Unless, oh, maybe I have it written out the wrong way though, actually. Hold on. What if we write it like this? Oh, wait a minute. I think I have it now. Hold on. This could be it. I was still thinking about it like it's a table, but if it's not, then this makes more sense. Maybe. Well, no, that still doesn't make sense. Hold on. Let me make sure I have it written down right also. Okay, so if we're looking at it like this, O X O O X X O X X X O O O O X X O O And now I calculate this into base two. All right, here, 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 here's my question. Here's my, I'm gonna ask one hint. If we're, um, if we are looking at the, writing at the light patterns, do you, should I be writing them as like one continuous thing? Okay, should I be writing them as like sets? Cause that's how I had them before. Yes, that's a four. Yeah, four by four grid is how I had it before. <laughs> Wait, is that? Yes, it was. Okay, that was how I had it. Oh, maybe they go, hold on, hold on. Maybe they go like this. Wait, that, no, that still leaves me with the same problem.
Okay, I have my 4x4 four four grid. What if Gundam burst it in and was like, then the piano? I feel like I'm just thinking about it too limitedly. So okay, so th this is what I have here written down is a four by four grid, but what I have on my thing here is a four by ten grid, right? So what am I doing? Like how? Is, like let's see. What is? In what way does this? Can I look at this that will make me make sense of this? What fell in the grape circle space? My hopes. Oh wait, <laughs> yeah, you're right. They do match up. How did I look? How did I not look at it like this though? <laughs> this is so annoying. <laughs> no, no, I got it now. I got it now. Okay, so <laughs> I swear I looked at it like this one way. Now I see it. Okay, this is what they would want you to do. I think that they. Sh <laughs> I think. I think we needed a, an extra step here. <laughs> so if we... <laughs> I, I don't know if I agree. <laughs> I, think, I think we needed a gap bridger a little bit. <laughs> so, okay. So if you assume that you need to write down the sequences of lights in a descending one by four sequence and then look at them vertically you get nine eight seven five <laughs> so let's try that and also this was Nagito doing this eight seven Five. Yeah, Nagi Monomi probably would have just told us that. I want to see if I can figure it out. All right. <laughs> I had fun doing that, but that was stupid. <laughs> the unlocking the. Whoa, you did it! She. Her like snot bubble pops. Tipsy's back there just cleaning up the bar. He he somehow has managed to set up shop here. It's a jump. I mean, you know, looking at it like that, I can tell what it is. It's just like, you. not only would you have to expect the player to write it out, which is, I think it's fine. Um, you'd have to expect the player to write it out the right way, right? Was it on something else? Was it on the, was it on the little, the note with the, the planets on it? Maybe I should have looked at that. Or are you just saying like the note that you wrote it out in? I got you. Um, wh what did he just? What did I just get from doing that? <laughs> okay, that opened this. The final key door. Um. Okay, <laughs> what happened to my key? Huh? Did we even get a key? <laughs> I think we've already searched this room from top to bottom. <laughs> Can I take it back out of this? Did my key explode when I used it? 
<laughs> I had a key, didn't I? <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> Uncompress. Where's my key? Maybe I can pick the lock. My brain is fried from vet. Pick. I must have like put it somewhere or something, right? Did Monokuma scamper in here and take it while I was doing stuff? Oh man, I don't remember now. Please do not try to break the locks. <laughs> uh, let's see. My beautiful scissors. Is this a key? Okay. Okay, I guess that's kind of cute. The uh, flash drive looks like a key. <laughs> With this gun I found! What happened to the key we opened the uh, the thing with? It was just like, poof. it just poof, away. Looks like we cleared it. <laughs> with oh, uh, she's giving him huggies. With our powers combined, we were able to clear the life-threatening game. Who cares about clearing it? Why does the exit feel like it's not opening? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I already have one of these. What do you mean it won't open? Clatter, clatter. Do I have to shoot the door? This is raw. Yeah, I think the rest of the puzzles were good. I think that puzzle is also good, too. Um, I just think we needed a middle man uh, hint. Or another image that would show, like, kind of, like, you know. It was something we could have figured out, but I think that if there was something I could look at somewhere that maybe, like, told the orientation, then that would have been better. It's not opening. I also fully, I'm, I fully believe that Monomi is the middleman. Except, how, what? That feels insulting to Nagito that Monomi would have to tell him something. <laughs> Do you think we had to talk to her and it would be like, ba 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 umfies. And she'd be like, when me and Monokuma play Othello, this is how I usually do it. <laughs> A transpose. That's so nice, eh? That's... It's not the exit. Even the door we entered is an opening. Oh, Monomi's confused and Nagito explains it to her. That's pretty funny. And we probably should have just asked her about it. Because it definitely seems like that is what they would want you to do. C could it be? Is there any chance that thing I found earlier was just joking around? Yeah, I guess that's true. The little screen on the computer has four, the four little dots. Would that have helped me? Maybe it's saying... If the screen on the computer... Well, would it have helped me? Yeah, I guess it would have. Yeah, yeah, because the the number... Like, if, you're, if you flipped it and the numbers were on... Were horizontal like they are on the... Um, you know, the other thing, then you'd be able to see what the orientation was supposed to be. You'd at least get, like, an idea of that, kind of. But also, again, it's so far away that it's like, why? <laughs> why would it, why would they not show you that? Yeah, yeah. Really, the the solution is that you need to make sh you need to look at the lights vertically instead of horizontally, which is what I was running into the whole time. I can't believe we didn't try it. Um, when I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. I'm sorry. I thought it was just a prank, so I didn't have the chance to tell you. Um, it's this. <laughs> Solve the mystery of the final dead room and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game! About the life-threatening game, it's life-threatening roulette! 
P.S. You are held liable for the settings roulette difficulty. <laughs> depending on the difficulty, but depending on how long it took you to solve the computer puzzle, that determines how many guns are, how many bullets are in the gun. Hope you like five. So that's what it means. Um, what does it mean? It means the games up until now were just the opening act. There's four more of these, Monomi. Where Snack's gonna be late for work tomorrow. Oh no! Hop up a what? Well, guess I'm gonna do this bullshit. <laughs> See, a gun! I have to use that to play Russian Roulette, right? Hey. Russian Roulette? <laughs> then allow me. Yeah. This is raw. <laughs> I don't really understand the rules of Russian Roulette. Hey. <laughs> oh, if that's the case, <laughs> load one bullet into the cylinder, then spin it, and after that, point the gun toward you and pull the trigger. Wait, I mean, you can't! <laughs> teacher. <laughs> she teacher. A one in six chance of death. Uh, listen, I mean, mono me. Who do you think you're hanging out with here? <laughs> the failure rate is only one sixth? I don't know, that sounds pretty free to me. <laughs> is, is that rule really okay? This is absolutely not gonna kill me. If there's a one-sixth chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? Shouldn't it be the opposite? <laughs> that would definitely make it more of a thrilling game. That's... What are you saying? <laughs> I would play Russian Roulette if I was the ultimate lucky student. <laughs> Let's give it a go! <laughs> Do Nagito Smila. What are you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? Playing Russian roulette. This is obviously. based. Makoto Makoto quaking. For Makoto Naigi forever infinitely on Fraud Watch, unless it turns out they are the same character. I've only removed one hole. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. What did he do? Not get stabbed? What did he do with his ultimate? Have a door that didn't work? <laughs> you, you can. Please stop. It's pretty funny though. It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? Bruh. I'm the ultimate lucky student. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent this is This is base. <laughs> I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really what if it, what if you just what if it just killed him <laughs> shoot as he crumples to the ground shoot if I'm true the ultimate lucky student I need to survive here. is that right please stop oh fuck did, did you try it twice? Oh, that was the door. <laughs> Let me just try it again. <laughs> Nagito, ah, oh, well, that was kind of mid, and he tosses the gun. The gun spirals through the air and lands on the ground and just <laughs> it fires and shoots Monomi right through the head. Oh! <laughs> Looks like we finally... Yep! <sighs> Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. I'm scared of you, Nagito. Oh, really? Why? Yeah, that's true. That's pretty interesting. Let's go. The octagon should be just beyond that door. He needed to make sure that... Did he... Was he the one who brought it up, or was she the one who did? But I mean, I guess the I guess the true rules of Russian roulette are just however many bullets are set in the gun, right? <laughs> look at this fucking look at look at this room, by the way. Yeah, he needed to get the outcome that was less likely 
which would be the, the technically like the lucky outcome, right? Higurashi room. So this is the octagon, huh? I would imagine it'd be more, I don't know, octagonal? Hmm. What a distorted room. Yeah, Monomi get equipped. Congratulations, Nagito. I figured if somebody was gonna get through, it was probably you. I guess Neko would have probably survived the ultimate death room also. I wonder if that like means something. Cause now we know that like, again, like it could be. We know that the person who got in here to get the hammer needed to have survived Russian roulette. <laughs> but do I really think Neko could have solved those puzzles? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! And you even challenge yourself at the highest difficulty with only a one-sixth chance of success! Here. I have a modest present for someone like you! Oh, a death note! Oh, is this... We saw this, right? Oh, this is the Future Foundation book, maybe? Maybe this is... It, does this have us in it? Yeah. I have to sew up the bear each time. Stop making it worse. Right down the middle. <laughs> Is this the Future Foundation's file? Didn't we already get this? Uh -huh. Just think of it as an extension. Now you can use it in court. Extension. What are you giving without permission? Hmm. One more special prize. Here you go. Yo, the crest. This Hope's Peak Academy's crest? <laughs> this file contains your student pro- Oh, he was telling the truth. Your student profiles from the time at Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> Monokuba never lies. They're profiles that you guys don't even remember. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna love looking through this with Handy later. Our time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? After all this time, I still can't believe it. The matter concerning your stolen school memories? Uh, <laughs> I was us? That's impossible! If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of greatness. God, how long did it take us to do that fucking puzzle? We were in the escape room at least for an hour, I would think. Whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How you use it is up to you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Yo, there's no way I get to learn this. He'll, <laughs> he'll probably be so happy about it. Yay, go Nagito. And he jumps up in the air and Monomi's up. Monomi jumps up with him too. Not you. He pushes her back down. <laughs> What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hope's Peak Academy's student profile. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. <laughs> Looks like things are gonna get real interesting next week. <laughs> you might be the one who makes things much more interesting. <laughs> like... Hey! Hey! <laughs> Mon <laughs> oh, come on! Yeah, Monami, come on! Um, but Nagito already did it! <laughs> no, 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 no! No, no, no! <laughs> Revenge of the final death room! Go! No. Coercion! <laughs> Oh god, I wish I hope they would thought they would never leave. Will she survive? I also think Monomi has like a, a luck roll. In the end, I still don't understand what Monokuma was talking about. For now though, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need, need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. What is this thing? Oh, a window. <laughs> a window. What could it mean? Why would there ever be windows here? 
In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked towards the window. You're sounding like Hajime more and more, guy. <laughs> Nagito, come on, man! <laughs> I still don't know what Nagito's laugh sounds like. <laughs> oh man, you can really hear Gundam even through these walls, huh? <laughs> so that's what it was. I mean, I know like, I know what Nagito <laughs> in the game's laugh sounds like. <laughs> But I know what I know what his what his voice sounds like. Actually, <laughs> it feels different to me still. If I start piecing it together and think about it, yeah, I see. I'm finally starting to get a larger picture of the funhouse, and I'm not gonna share it with the guys. All right. So we know Nagito saw something out the window. Oh, guns! Oh, an infinite rocket launcher. Okay, got that. We got swords. This is where I get the swords for the. <laughs> what the fuck is it called? Rebuttal showdown. Axes, swords, hammer, wire. Where's the wire? Grenades. Gr gradudes. Um. Oh my god. I still never found Monokuma, also. We might still have Hajime to go is the crazy thing. We might be like way in this for the long haul. Anything in the fridge? Yoo-hoo. I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside... Poison! You could secretly kill everyone with a poison. In a way, it can be considered the most powerful weapon. Ignore the rules. What was... What's the rule? Yeah, there's Coors Lights in here. A floor hatch. <laughs> a door on the floor. Habawa. Oh, I, oh, because he said kill everybody. Isn't this the first floor of Strawberry House? Strawberry basement. Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. What lies beyond this door? Maybe. Things are finally getting interesting. Look at it, you goof. <laughs> I love him talking to himself in here. Except the thing is, he's never really alone, so he's never really talking to himself. Thanks to how I arrived here, Handy, all the separate pieces seem to have connected together in one fell swoop. <clears throat> I know that now is not the time to enjoy things, but this is definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. <laughs> Hajime's gonna love when I tell him about that halfway through the trial and throw a huge wrench and everything. Everything became connected from there. Thanks to the window, I've realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon and the funhouse. Yeah, what's up, Retro Gamer Dead? <laughs> Bef but, but before I tell everybody, <laughs> I should take a look at the file. If it's everyone's student profiles from their time at Hope's Peak Academy, that's important. Not to miss a single letter. St Strudy? Duh. And we're going back to side Haji, right? Hey, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, Chucky, I just had the craziest dream. Hajime, can you hear me? <laughs> Search at. She's singing the Undead Unluck song at him. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> yeah. It's been about two hours since you started Side Nagito, and what the heck were you doing over there? I don't know, some kind of puzzle or something? Oh, did you figure out that you have to line the lights up? <laughs> They're vertical, look. Oh, Chiaki. It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were still split up before that class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Grumpa. Kita. <laughs> Sorry. I think. 
Hey guys, anybody? <laughs> <laughs> he warps in. Huh? <laughs> what are you doing here? Hello there. Oh, hey! <laughs> he walks through the wall. Oh, why, hello there, Hajime. Well, 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 if it isn't Haji, stinky. Nagito, what are you doing here? He must have come in here through, the, like, again, if we're if they got the hammer in the death room, the death room has to connect the two buildings somehow. There's no way that Kazuichi has finished fixing the elevator. <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up? How do you? How did you even get here? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I teleported. Steiner. Nagito's sudden appearance. <laughs> no, you fucking did it. Answer me seriously. How are you able to come to the side? Before I do that, there's something else I need to tell you guys. There is. I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. I'll give you the details first, so let's hurry up. It would be so funny if we hadn't seen his side and he was just here. <laughs> they, I feel like they should have like, <laughs> I feel like they should have like let me see that first and then shown me Nagito's side. It's still pretty funny though. Chiaki and I learned about the results of his investigation of Strawberry House. What did he even, I guess he found the clocks and like that stuff first. But there's no way he's telling us about, uh, about the death room, right? Yeah, we got Fuyuhiko's thing, the other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess that was all the important things Nakito <laughs> found out about. This is so funny. <laughs> he discovered so much. Especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise, too. <laughs> What's that about the wall clock's alarm going off? And the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Oh, a wall clock! <laughs> hey. Oh, there's also one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cl oh, here we go. I've cleared the final dead room! Steiner! <laughs> you did the life-threatening game? Wow. Yep, uh, it wasn't very life-threatening though. It was just a little escape game that took like three hours for me to do. With some Russian roulette on the side. Russian roulette? A game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger. No, 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 five bullets. So you really did it. Man. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to play it. <laughs> it would have been fine if I'd only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monomi said, he just didn't know the rules. Or he could have also. But saying that to us, he, <laughs> he didn't know the rules. What the fuck? I'll let you slide on this one, Chiaki. What the fuck? I misunderstood and thought I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. <laughs> you had a one in six chance of surviving. Pretty lucky, huh? What is wrong with him? <laughs> He's crazy. Anyway, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. I was able to obtain certain keys. And one of those rights <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. But not only that, whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. Maybe the window is like, where's the dead room? The dead room must move. What's on the other side? Is it just bathrooms? I don't think there's anything that corresponds with the dead room on the first floor of Grape House, right? Man. It must be another elevator though of some kind. You stay quiet. Or again, you go down the trap door and you can walk through it and then uh, and come out or something. Didn't you watch me play it, Hajime? Let me talk. Anyway, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette of the highest difficulty. <laughs> and I obtained an amazing prize. That's the Future Foundation file. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
We can <laughs> we can look at bottom left again. Oh my god, can you please take me over to Strawberry House? I really want to show this to the guys. Bottom left, bottom left, bottom left. There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the file earlier. Yeah, I will, sis. The killing school life. Hey, um. Hello, <laughs> it's it's me, Piakuya. Uh, yes. As I recall, Piakuya was one of the students who participated, and also he lived. <laughs> There he fucking was. <laughs> Our king. But even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it so boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. I mean, come what? on. Besides Byakuya, of course. He didn't even die. Definitely. The first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. It's... Oh my god, are they gonna show? I thought they were gonna show Sayaka. The second murder reveals the presence of a serial killer among the group. Well, kind of. <laughs> and the third murder... <laughs> that, and this one was the, was the zaniest one. It was actually two killings that happened in succession. No. What do you think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. Can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma's behind the motives and driving the murders. What are you saying? And there was one of them said something like that too. <laughs> By the way, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Whether that means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you, let me see that fucking file. <laughs> Don't get fresh with me, Nagito. I've been over here gazing off into the, into the grapes for two hours, man. That one red bean bun wasn't enough. If you're gonna talk like that, I won't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is, too. <laughs> well, That file wasn't the only thing I received from I, I figured he wasn't going to tell us about this. Yep. Perhaps. How unfortunate. <laughs> it's only about Hajime. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a bummer, because I really thought I could use this to learn what your name was, Swendy. <laughs> it's Chiaki. <laughs> Just mine? Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. It's actually illegal for you to ask me that. I was always interested that Hajime was the one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Are you serious? <laughs> Hajime's existence is special because you were here we go oh! well we kind of thought this too you'll also theme drop though when, when it kicks in it's always so good um I also that's really interesting about the the murders being similar too I mean we've been talking about that but we've been talking about it more from like a, like a gameplay angle, kind of. Not necessarily so much that the story has followed sort of similar rules. Um, you know, like we've considered thing like there being things that were similar before. Um, but not so much in the way that I necessarily was... Like that it was my theory that it was like part of the game. So again, it could also just not be, like, that could be sort of misleading, but it's an interesting thing to have it, like, spelled out for us right now. And we also did consider that this was the case, too. Except that, um, I was thinking that maybe they were all from the reserve department. Except, again, that wouldn't make sense, because we had Byakuya, but at the time, we didn't know. But we knew, like, we knew when they gave us this info, this would have had to have come up at, at some point. 
Unlike the primary department for main course students who possess ultimate talents like you and me, Handy, the reserve department is for reserve course students who entered the school through a basic exam. You're like a substitute or the second string. Okay, interesting. So, and I don't know if we knew that whether or not the reserves had ultimates either, which uh, maybe we're saying here that they don't have ultimates actually. Reserve department? Oh yeah, I guess he, he I mean, he was talking down to us more for sure. Substitute? Second string? What is he saying? <laughs> Like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entrance fee and tuition. <laughs> you were just rich. Well, so was Byakuya. <laughs> yeah, but he was the richest. Oh. <laughs> With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> through this, through this, the symbols of hope can be raised. Isn't that right? You're just a stepladder. You should feel honored. You're like me, buddy. <laughs> no! <laughs> An average talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does this mean? Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Yo. Yeah. It's not like that, I think, maybe. Stop. Wanted to become hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. What did we, um, hold on. Let me, uh, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, let me just, uh, let me just pull up the... <laughs> let me pull up the predictions. Did we, what did we say uh, we thought Ajime's talent was going to be? Or no, I think, did we think he was the normal? If we, did I say the normal or did I say that for Makoto when we started that game? If I said Hajime was the normal, uh, I'm taking a half a point for that. <laughs> if that turns out to be true, which we don't necessarily know if it does. Listen carefully, the only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have it or you don't. There's no mistake. You gotta be chosen. You don't even know. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? I can't believe I considered you my first day friend, buddy. I mean, Hajime. You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody, that's all. Then I, I'm just, I'm just Hajime? Yeah, 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 I moved you below Kazuichi on my mind tier list. I hope you don't mind. Hajime ultimate the normal, taking it. I'm taking the half, I'm taking the full point on that actually. Take the full point. <laughs> you were never an ultimate to begin with. You had no talent whatsoever. Sis, <laughs> I'm taking more points. I'm taking four points then. Just not because I think I deserve more than one. <laughs> Just because I think I deserve more than Sis. <laughs> For saying nobody. <laughs> I don't have any talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. What the fuck? I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? Yeah, I was a Brandon you? Yep, with Mahiru, buddy. No! <laughs> that's not it. Maybe that's why you were so you two were so perfect for each other. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know you're the normal. An utterly unremarkable high school student? There's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Oh man. If it's not Hajime, then... <laughs> then also that he still suspected us? 
Who in the world could the traitor be? <laughs> yeah, it says you were at the school next door, Brandon Yu, look! And it's like a picture of like me and Mahiru wearing matching sweaters. <laughs> look! <laughs> oh my god, this is even worse for me now! I think you guys were like together. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> yeah. He was he was talking down to her. I could just tell. The survivor of the previous killing school life, Byakuya, would have been the most likely candidate. But now that's probably impossible. What is he saying here? Oh, the traitor. Hey, are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this, Hajime. What? Well, Tell him. <laughs> it may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekamaru's murder first. She always keeps us on track. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone's going to die anyway. Hmm. Ultimates or not. I truly wonder about yep. that. Oh, well. Bye, guys. And he walks back through the wall. I saw the sign. <laughs> hey, hey. You said when you cleared... Wait, Nagito. And she like... Lassos him back. You said you were you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Oh, the ultimate weapon? So... <clears throat> Did you find out what it was? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? <clears throat> what the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtain there as I see fit, right? <clears throat> Man. <laughs> not Hajime, come on, guy. What are you, like, not an ultimate or something? It's the challenge. I just want hope to shine even brighter. Mm. Nagito, you're the worst. <laughs> Just tell us already. I really want to know. Was it like a big sword? He <laughs> BLJ's back. Jeez. He clips through the wall. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... I didn't go to a place that seemed to be the octagon. Or I did go to the place that seemed the octagon. And I found many different weapons there. Yeah, the founder's painting could be the, the portal. But I didn't find any we anything worthy of the name Ultimate Weapon. There's no way that's possible. Stop it. Oh my god, Nagito! <laughs> I am gonna... This guy is gonna be so owned when I school him in the class trial. Though, to be fair, this is the perfect time for him to, like... Uh, stop thinking, like, highly of us. Because he has so much important information now. And I'm the only one who has any chance of getting this. So if there was a time for him, for me, like Hajime and Nagito, to be back to like fully pitted against each other, then they've set it up in a good way here for sure. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What are you saying? Oh. I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. We gotta do it ourselves. I'm playing Russian roulette. Chucky, no. The class trial's gonna start soon. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene. I guess I'm gonna go over there. <laughs> also, the guys in the strawberry house should be coming over to this side any moment now. Bye now. Bye, Zs. Go. <laughs> any go. Hey. Hey, Hajime. I already know. You want me to focus on Neko's case, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to. They keep saying it. Now's not the time for me to feel like that. I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Uh, I was just gonna say, I'm hungry. Yep. I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then, Sweeta. <laughs> You're right. All right, we got a boogie on this part then. Well. All right, what, uh, so I guess we probably wanna talk to the guys. Sis says we should uh, zoomies around the grape house again, though. I'm down to do it. 
Did I get to look in this room? Did we ever look in this one? I guess we probably did. Hey, that was crazy also. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I thoroughly enjoyed side Nagito. <laughs> it definitely was necessary for like, like you wouldn't have been able to do it any other way um, than playing as him because he, he gets so much info there. And it wouldn't, again, from like where the story is going, it wouldn't make sense to know that. I need to look for poopies. Hachibi me. I missed her. Hey, Retro Gamer Dad, thanks for coming out. Whose room was I just in? Chiaki, what's in here? Have we even been able to see in this room yet? I know it's like the same room, but... I feel like every time we've come in here before... Uh, Chiaki's been like, I'm not... I'm thinking about stuff. <laughs> Alright, so that was the, the normal. Ultimate normal, right? Like... I get a point for that, right? <laughs> I guess, you know what? I'm taking a half point because I all I could have said, like, he has no ultimate also. But, like, the ultimate normal, <laughs> that's pretty fucking close. That's as close as you can get without, like, putting, you know, putting it on the words on it exactly. Is that what I said for... No, I think I said we... I think we thought that Makoto was the ultimate detective. I'm pretty sure. Or did I? I want to say maybe we did. Because then I, I feel like I remember having the reaction that... I can't look at this. I can't, like, steal him off this. This is King Cutout. I don't know. Had I... When we played this last week, had I done a randomizer seed yet? I think I did. I guess they started doing them last week. I'm pretty sure that was what we said. I think I said that Makoto was the ultimate detective. Because when it turned out it was Kyoko, I was like, oh, okay, this is, huh? I can't, like, take one of these. What does he look like in here? Yo, you guys want to read Monokuma's fucking story again? Let's see if we can, if we can like get him. Or maybe he's on the TV. <laughs> does he like rap Monokuma here? What does he have? Does he have bling? It looks like he has a chain. Whoops. No, shut up. This maybe? Turn that? Oh. Oh, he, oh, I see him. Hey, good hint. That that's that's got to be the trickiest one so far. It's it was like a I thought it was like a sh weird shadow on the model, but also none of the other ones look like that. They want you to fuck up on that one. <laughs> No, I mean, this This room is called Monokuma Museum, so, like, I feel like that's a pretty good in, a pretty good hint or indicator that, um, that you should, you should check it, you know, that you should look around. Alright, we can finally save in normal town again. Let's go talk to the boys. How am I gonna break this to him? <laughs> that was tricky. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to skip that. I have returned from the depths of hell. <laughs> Gundam. Yo. Yo. And also, the, listen, the homies will never cast me aside, right? They don't. These guys won't fucking care. Only, it's only Nagito who cares, right? Sorry we're late. Just, <laughs> I'm back, right? <laughs> Just, <laughs> gosh, it was, I bet it was killing you guys not having me around for so long on side, Nagito. Just so you all know, it's thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> it's just as I said, right? 
Are you even listening? I, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get my moment here, man! Hey. <laughs> D didn't you just miss me? <laughs> oh yeah, a little uh, food. This is what this is what Kazuichi sounds like. <laughs> it doesn't actually sound anything like Kazuichi, but we've been doing it for three months. <laughs> Driving ourselves crazy. <laughs> More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into that matter I asked you about? Oh, that thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think the compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I do. God, he hates everybody now. I didn't ask for your opinions. <laughs> I found out that you don't have an ultimate either. Well, did I at least have a girlfriend then? No. Duh! <laughs> well, um, uh. <laughs> what did he ask uh, Kazuichi to do? All I'm remembering is the, um, the, the clocks, but that was, that was, uh, Fuyu. What did he ask Kazuichi to do? Oh, the compass. The compass needle rotated 180 degrees when we were riding the elevator. The needle rotated? <laughs> it's just as I thought. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. So that would mean that it that the elevator is the po in between point between the houses, right? Yeah, he's he's so <laughs> yeah he, he, he oh whoa Kazuichi's family tree, oh my god what? <laughs> His dad is who? <laughs> the elevator rotated. <laughs> Yeah, Nagi yeah, Nagito told everybody that they were the, a reserve student. Now then. Nagito is... <laughs> is, um, <laughs> is are, why are you talking like that to Kazuichi? Is he a reserve student too? No, I just don't like Kazuichi. <laughs> Bye, Zs! <laughs> As if he were thumbing his nose at us, Nagito began making his way towards Grape Tower. Oh my. What's wrong with him? Doesn't he seem pissed or something? What do you know? How much do you know? Again, I like I my theory was that we were all reserves. So But I mean again, look, some of us have demonstrated real ultimates, but have we? Chiaki has. <laughs> If we are all reserves, then the ultimates that we've demonstrated have been eerily close to the things we said were our ultimates, so that's probably not the case. I just really don't like Kazuichi. Easily C tier. N oh, Nagito, you put a whole tier between me and Kazuichi? Sorry, buddy. Sorry, ex buddy. I'm small down here. Don't you just love me? Okay, uh, 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 oh, this is the one where the panel was broke, right? Hey. It might be better if I explain how the elevator was broken, right? We really were first day friends. Right. <laughs> oh, word travels fast. Wait, actually, how did Nagito get over here? <laughs> Oh, he, cl he, he clipped through the wall. Oh, okay, well, that tracks. <laughs> it's just as I thought. Uh. The elevator was broken at Grape House. Okay, can I look at the panel? No. Uh, I, well, I can look at this. <laughs> well, I just told you what was going on. <laughs> Cause, cause, yes. I just prepared the elevator. Do you guys seriously want to ride it already? Okay. I mean, I feel like it would be pretty important to, right? Looks like Nagito is investigating Mechamaru. Okay. Let's go tail his ass. I'm not letting this guy get away. What's up, Gundy, though? <laughs> I've made you wait. Judgment! The time has come to destroy all murderous illusions. Hey, hey. Nagito is like a... <laughs> it's 
I think he's like a tardy detective. No, no, it, it, it's Strudy. What are you talking about? A trope in mystery games, they always come to the crime scene late just to make an important discovery. But they can never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. In Nagito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. He'll just make things even more complicated. <laughs> oh, he's such a... <laughs> Ain't he just a thorn in our side, Chiaki? He's been acting weirder than usual lately, though. Give me strength, queen. So in the end! As he runs down here. So in the end! He just feels compelled. It. Yo, Akane, I forgot you were even in the game. You sure you didn't die? That would be raw. I mean, listen, she she basically was the ultimate weapon. Except she would never harm a Nysa. She would never do a... Are you serious? No. What? I don't know who did this, but it's pretty fucked up. Hey. She... she love her. <laughs> now is not the time to get sentimental. Look, I'm saying... They're all saying now is not the time. We need to hurry up and investigate, guys. It took, uh, listen, all right, I'm, I'll come down to your level for one second. It took me a long fucking time to get through the ultimate dead room. <laughs> We've already investigated every, oh, that's me. Wow. No, you haven't. There's something you missed. Oh, no. <laughs> if only Mikon were here. She was a real ultimate. Right. But Kazuichi should be able to disassem disassemble the body, right? You mean I get another moment? It cannot be. Are you going to disassemble Nekomaru? I won't forgive you. Yo. He's dead. You don't know. It's gotta be the clock. D damn it! You stay quiet. Yo, he is on one. He must have learned something else. If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Jeez. Kazuichi, come on, guy. Uh. Nagito is just trying to, he's just kind of like trying to make up for the fact that it took him so long to solve the binary puzzle. <laughs> that he's like, what have you guys been doing? Like, <laughs> you aren't done yet? It's like looking down at his watch. He's looking down at his Swiss Army knife that also has a watch on the back. I know you said you wanted to see his insides, but not like this. Oh, he wanted to see his insides. Well, <laughs> I am not owned. <laughs> There's definitely something wrong with you. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but it's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now too. But why? I think that he, there must have been, again, the only times that, well, is that true? Maybe not. I'm just thinking about like, again, like other than the fact that none of us are ultimates and we're all reserves, which I don't, like again, unless it's true that reserves do still have ultimates, I don't see how that could possibly be the case just based on some stuff we've done, unless they pull some real shenanigans. Um. But I th the only other thing that I can think would make him pissed at us is if there is some, like, true, like, farce shit to the trial and nobody is going to grow from this, you know? I don't know why he'd be mad at us about that, but he would de it would definitely frustrate him as a situation. Um, so, again, the possibility that there are shenanigans at play, like, and shenanigans beyond just, like, I think this is who killed who uh, is... I think high with this one. But get over here, Kazuichi. Let's tear this let's tear this king apart. <laughs> what do you get when you tear Nekomaru into ten different pieces? I don't know. Four, ten ones. Yeah, that's what you get, Kazuichi. You get ten ones. Now is not the time to look away. Oh, I need Kazuichi to disassemble Neko's body, and I said it again.
as he forced out his voice through his clenched teeth. Kazuichi faced Neko, his eyes full of determination, and he just began stabbing away. <laughs> Where did you get that tool knife? Huh? Nagito gave it to me. He said he already had it ready when he, before we went to the amusement park. Nagito did that, too. It's like he has full control over this situation. Maybe. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Right. Hmm. Oh, the, oh, okay. It's, the clock has to be important. I think he came over here on his own, whatever happened. His pants? Oh, I remember that is his pants are dislocated. Maybe a gear shaft broke? For now, I tried disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? All right, now we can look at it. Check. May again, maybe maybe the simulation theory is all uh, is is real that <laughs> that we've like half had <laughs> for the whole playthrough. Maybe this, maybe it's, maybe it's all fake, and Nagito found that out. Maybe we're in pods. Nekomaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. Seven thirty. Okay, so this definitely the, the clocks. The the clocks in the houses have to be wrong. But we've been saying that too. The clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. This clock broke the moment the alarm started ringing at 7.30. What if... Oh, no, that wouldn't make sense. What did Fuyuhiko say again? I don't know. Well, Fuyuhiko gave us, like, our contradiction here, though. Because they all heard the alarms on the clocks, in the on the wall clocks, ring at 5.30, according to those clocks. But that wouldn't make sense, obviously, if Neko died uh, between then and when we got here, which was like seven. It. 7.30 is strange, right? We should have arrived at Grape Tower just before seven. Is the clock malfunctioning, or? Oh yeah, the radio clock. Remember when, remember when we thought this was going to be an amusement park episode for us? <laughs> I have become a time lord. I don't remember him saying that. What are you saying? One last time. I miss him. <laughs> An accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? If that's the case. Why does it say 730? Yo, this is a raw truth bullet. Look at that. The chain is like, like his an aura around him. Oh, did I want to keep looking at that? Oh, I guess not. Um, did you miss something else? <laughs> he's crouching over Neko's body, almost like he's glaring at him. There are sh there are shenanigans so goddamn at play. This is the worst. Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue. I swear, you guys are the worst. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. Well, I found this under a fragment of pillar that tipped over. A doorknob. You don't even know. Looks like the screws came out with it. <laughs> oh god, he. <laughs> The problem with Nekomaru was that he had no gimmick. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Okay. Hey. See? Uh huh. Is it the is it the fucking is it the grape door? If that's the case, where did the doorknob come from? It's not the door that leads to Strawberry House, then there's only one possibility. Grape door! This is... This is kooky. <laughs> well, 
It makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> Alright, let's just knock the... Let's just use your Swiss Army Knife key to unlock the... Where did... Again, like, there must be a key that goes to those chains. Did they get that from the Ultimate Dead Room? You don't know? Oh, the elevator's working now. Well, hold on. No, we still can't do that. It's obvious. <laughs> Kazuichi, you're back. Well. You want to you want a chance at climbing the tier list again, buddy? Uh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> this is his, he is he is carrying the weight of the world in this one. I can repair it if it's broken, but if I don't have enough parts, there's not much I can do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here. Huh? See? <laughs> just just dig through Nekomaru to, to use to get parts to fix a door. <laughs> what? Use parts from our dead friend. Robots, doors. I mean, they're all below me, so... It's called recycling. <laughs> Junk! Oh my god, Nagito, you need to slow down. Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or not? I guess he's the ultimate mechanic. Maybe. <laughs> Even if you do repair the button, what's gonna happen to the chain on the other side of the door? There's a door, there's a, a string attached to the door. Huh? Yeah, he, had, he needed, <laughs> he needed to get, he needed to get his time in. He was stewing when he was there. You guys left me in bed with Mekon for like three days. If anything, I, I, I have every right to be mad at you. And we're gonna find out that this is like not a real chain or something. What does that mean? <laughs> Let's go, Kazuichi. I'm not finished! I'm coming right now, guy. Right? By these. After he was so terse with me, Nagito left the are the area. Huh? What happened to him? Did he not get a be bean bun? I don't fucking know! Uh, who knows? Damn right. Nagito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. Something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what it could mean. Hey. To tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something weird too. Investigate all the clocks inside both buildings, and I. Jeez. Imagine he probably wanted to make sure that. All of them were showing the same time. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower 2? Along with this doorknob thing, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. Oh, I guess if um, if we're now saying that the, uh, the towers aren't connected through this, then we'll still be able to open Strawberry Tower because it's a different place, right? So that's why the, the padlock doesn't matter. And Neko is probably not going to be in there. Or, you know, like, if that's what's happening, then it absolutely won't be in there. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries, maybe. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, this is, there's the Chiaki pad, but there's got to be some way to explain that. I don't understand this at all. Maybe Chiaki did it. <laughs> I mean that that I don't think that I don't think the order of events really work like that. Cause we saw her put it down. We went to didn't we go to Grape Tower and then back to Strawberry Tower and then to Grape Tower again? I think we went a full back and forth. Damn right. As long as Kazuichi finishes his work, we should be able to open the door in Strawberry Hall. What is he thinking? Gundam? 
Ridge, you will die. The land of death. Strawberry house. We're, we're calling it that now. Oh, Akane. Akane, if, I thought this was going to be about you. <laughs> Sonia! I missed you. Why would Nagito say such cruel things? The Nagito we know would not talk like that, right? It's as if he's a different person altogether. And we know that when you get a form, you die. Oh no. Along with the doorknob matter, there are still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to the Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of those mysteries. If we really can enter from the other side. Out of my way, friendies. Thank you, thank you, Kazuichi. That's basically what he just said. All right, moment of truth. You're here. Kazuichi, how'd the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. You? Uh. Hey, hey. I mean, even so. Well, then. Even so. Hey. Show me this one last time before we possibly learn that it's all wrong. <laughs> It doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> we'll know if we try. <laughs> it's not even worth trying. We've come all this. F we've come. We've all come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, we should give it a shot. He seems to be on on some real shit today. I'm on my cool shit today. Are there new lines here? I will hear every line. Where is Gundam Tanaka? Actually though, where is he? I guess he's just not here. Maybe he's in the hall again. He likes it down there. Hey, yeah, shut up, you shut up. Oh, I'll do it if I can ever get a fucking one over on him. Here we go. Uh, Look, he <laughs> what was he, I, remember when Gundam was teaching him the, uh, to conceal their aura? He taught Kazuichi too. I bet I'm even stronger than you now, bro. Oh no, why is everybody saying this today? <laughs> There's no need for the skyline lamentation art of the demon mouse. Oh yeah, remember when press that? I should let you fiends press the button. Mm. Nagito is so confident about this. Maybe he knows something. Bye. Out of my way. All right, fine. <laughs> hey, can you hurry up and press the button already? Oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was being polite. Hey, Isaac. Right, let's let's find out. Feeling of resignation. I pressed the button. You're going with Ibuki today? Oh, okay. Interesting. Why did it open? Impossible. Where did the chain go? Hold it. That's not the only thing that's strange. There's no other way to say it. This is def this definitely looks weird. Well, it would be the other. It's it's like the it's flipped. Maybe the houses rotate then somehow. Cuz this should be on the other side of the room. We should walk into this. So What do you mean? Huh? Does this maybe so maybe the the houses rotate around? But the, he said that it rotated 180 degrees, so that would mean that we turned around, right? Doesn't this all look the same as when we? Well, even let's see. For that to be the case, um. I don't like. I'll I'll figure it out. <laughs> I think that what we're saying is obviously that it's the same scene, which should not be the case. Neko's body was in front of the far back door. Let's look at it. If the room. Okay. 
<laughs> All right, we're gonna look at it here. If the room doesn't change, if the let's say the room is a zero in binary, if <laughs> if the room is a static binary zero, <laughs> we <laughs> we got in the grape tower elevator, which is there, the south part of the um the hexagon. If we consider we're in an we're in a, a casino mode universe, <laughs> then what would the elevator have to do? So we'd have to wind up in Strawberry House, but on the left side, or like just it like. <laughs> It has to change, like, it, the, the the house has to, like, switch somehow. But one, well, let's see, what would 180 degrees, if we're standing there, would be, like, we'd be facing the other way, right? Maybe the, maybe the house, it's, <laughs> that, that don't, that's, imp doesn't seem possible. Because the houses are, are like, different, uh, like, architecturally different. I don't know, maybe they'll tell me. They're def- they're, I'll- This is- This is a- tr We're saving this for the trial. I'm gonna have to figure this shit out. There's no way they're gonna tell me this here. But I'm sure we will. If we ended from Strawberry Hall, the body should be in front of the door. Why isn't it like that? Why is Neko's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Oh. What is he? Are he just saying that they've moved to look like it looked before? The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered from Grape Hall. What happened with the chains, though? Because if there's no chains at all, then... Um... <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Don't worry. Have faith. <laughs> Everything that was at the crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. I guess the room itself could have rotated. But that doesn't make sense with the elevator, right? Can I imagine that floor... I can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but... Is that really what this means? It's more than that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. So great that it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. We might have to rethink <laughs> my entire existence. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. It. The two Nekos. The chain disappeared. Okay, so the chain is like not anywhere to be found. The strange feeling I uh, feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> Just as I thought, it was definitely the right choice to confirm this. You already knew about this mystery? <laughs> See? Funnies? Gundam? You got this one, buddy? I, I see, so, so simple. The remnants of the winds of hell. <coughs> Jesus, Gundam. Ah, yes, the netherworld, of course. Listen well. All right. I'm willing to hear a longer, funnier explanation, even. This is the truth behind the chain's disappearance. I'm talking to you last. Snub, whoops. Hey, hey. But Chiaki definitely was second to last. Was well, it really okay to come here? I'm starting to see the truth behind this case, aren't you, Hajime? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I think. I think. 
I wish you'd at least be more confident. Chucky, hit me with one of your hilarious jokes. Damn it. Where did the chain go? He's got us right where he wants us. I should have talked to Akane first, also. Why are we able to go inside from Strawberry Hall? This doesn't make sense. Hey, hey. Where'd the chain go? Mm. No. Mm. It was sh maybe Schlorp? Nah, there's not a much, as much Schlorping in this one yet. Maybe the door just sh Schlorped it up? Hey, 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 hey. It opened. Why did Nekomaru move? Even the parts I carefully arranged all move too. So is Kazuichi saying that I probably have this in my truth bullets? Poopies. Hi, Chibi Me. I bet she, if Chibi Me were real, she would sell that. She's so smart to. Um. Even the disassembled parts Kazuichi arranged look the same. So he's saying that... Um, is, it, cause it's, it sounds like he's trying to say that it looked different than he left it, but it's what I think he's actually saying is that ex it's exactly the way that he left it. Is that right? I feel like the, the text is a little weird there. Do you have a minute? I might have figured out the reason behind the chain's disappearance. Seriously? Perhaps th what made this incomprehensible ph phenomenon possible is... Well? Magic! Mind freak! <laughs> Mind... Fuck. Chiaki! Mind freak! Sorry, Sonya. What? Yeah, they could not have reproduced the actions of Kazuichi. <laughs> Cause they'd be like, look, and the the but shouldn't the pillar be on this side? Yeah, and my actions of Kazuichi are all the same as well. <laughs> <laughs> right down to the ver my very actions of Kazuichi. <laughs> you have a bad habit of relying on Kazuichi when you don't understand things. Why don't you investigate? See? Oh, yeah, we're looking at the door. I already talked to Nagito. Well, I didn't mean to... I... Shit, he got me there. Oh, and here's the missing doorknob. Yeah, he... <laughs> Even the part where I use my finger to draw, don't you just love me? And the oil is the same. ba ba ba, -ba. The doorknob is gone! It's the same as that doorknob that was on the floor. See? The screws came out with it, right? Where did he find this also? In Strawberry Tower? Then the doorknob, or the doorknob next to Nekomaru's body came off the door to Grape Hall. The doorknob. Well, oh, he found it in Grape Tower. Okay. That's what it looks like. I guess that's right. He just picked it up off the ground when we were there because he was like, this fucking sucks. When you said clue, were you talking about this? What is it a clue to? It's the key to everything, probably. What? Maybe, I think. Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue will change everything. All the mysteries will be solved as if everything were linked together. If you can reach it, just like I did. <laughs> Listen, I mean, the man played Russian roulette to get, like, to, to get this. He, he deserves to have some clout. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nagito probably won't give me an answer. Just be a waste of time. And also, I really feel like we're about to get our announcement here in a sec. <laughs> what do you know? <laughs> Maybe I'm the ultimate psychic. you the truth i'm tired extremely tired i feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already monokuma hats off <laughs> you know we we gotta 
you know what? I think even a little bit, I forgive him for how dumb the motive was in case three. <laughs> he deserves a break after this one. He put he put he put his all into this shit. <laughs> Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want a ditch. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it, I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. Are we getting out of here, Elsa? <laughs> I finally get to see the light of day again. Looks like it's gonna start another class trial. Can we take nappies? <laughs> no. Oh man. How are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Damn it. You can't do anything unless we get out of the building. Are we gonna walk through hmm. how would we? Um We must have maybe we like <laughs> if we walk through the other side tower door, that's when it's gonna be truly insane. Hey, hey! Or maybe the window? The window feels like it's gotta be something different though. Hey, hey. Here what do you hear this time? Or maybe it's just all tumbling down. <laughs> or maybe other door. Oh no, we're gonna get... <laughs> okay, this is even better. <laughs> it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yo, move. This is raw. Look at this, this is like the final cave. Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. I'm gonna go! Just hold on, Nekomaru! Oh, she just di dives into it. I'll make sure to avenge you! Jeez, At least be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. It appears you can I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying, do not go inside as he's walking in. If you can kill if you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. <laughs> Uh, shall we go? Yep. <laughs> yep. And they they hold hands and walk in. Uh, it's annoying, but if Miss Sonia is going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Kazuichi, why would you not go? <laughs> but it's so annoying. Guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, we all went into the little Monokuma rock. Oh yo, here we go. <laughs> We're the same. The same step ladders. Huh? No. <laughs> oh no. His arm. He slowly. My favorite boy. Arm comes around me. No! Other than the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. You and I are just like step ladders. For everyone who holds the title of ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? Man. Have we ever seen this before, ever? We're like brothers, only closer. And he lifts up his Nagito jacket. I'm sure we have. This is like a, this feels like a rare Nagito. Yeah, I think we're actually technically ladders. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, a true hope would be born. I always believed that the talent that survived would be the true hope. But it wasn't. There is no hope amidst this killing. <laughs> Why would hope come from killing people, guy? What the heck? <laughs> no hope? <laughs> he knows. He knows something about like the big like the big picture for sure. What? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? <laughs> but you're wrong. Isn't that right? Well... It's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's this one novel I like, Yobra. It's a peculiar mystery story. A novel? Uh. It's told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end... <laughs> Surprise! The girl was actually the killer! 
course, the story is written so carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a protection of the re projection of the reader, and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along! How do you feel about novels like that? <laughs> what novel is this? This must be something, right? Off the top of my head, I don't know what it is. I can't comment on a book I've never read before. What if it's mid? No good at all. Oh, come on, it's not mid, it's peak. <laughs> I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You just said we were the same. You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways we're similar, but that difference, maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. <laughs> Enough already! I'm sick of you! <laughs> and he jumps down the cave too. Ah! Man. Everyone, huh? Yo. <laughs> what does my laugh sound like again? <laughs> he walks. Ha! 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 Was that it? Nagito's confusing laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokuma Rock. <laughs> calm down. I need to calm down. He's trying to get in my head over this. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monokuma Rock. Yeah, <laughs> I just, well, he, <laughs> I think he knew about reserves before. He just didn't know that I was one of them. Us, though, still. <laughs> I walked around Nagito, and I still declared us, anyway. The elevator shook violently as it des descended into an ever-increasing speed. Hey. When we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad, it reminds me how efficient the elevator in the funhouse was. Almost like it wasn't moving at all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's probably true. The elevator continued to shake and descended deeper and deeper. And suddenly, it stopped, like it always does. And the door opened. All right, Blue Curacao trial. Yo, it's a toy town trial. I understand your desire to applaud this wonderfully vulgar trial ground. But it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already. Oh, I'm so sad, my chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do this is so sad. Hey, come don't, on now. <laughs> don't go talking without permission after I've said my catchphrase. What was his catchphrase? Just get on with it already. <laughs> Does he say that? Now I'm really angry. I'll roll a dice and based on the results, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. Hey. Dumb. Now, then. now then, let's get on with it for once again. Boys and girls, yoo-hoo! Go. He did it in here. He did the, the trial in, like, other trial this time because Gundam left the trial last time and he's like, we can't have that shit happen again. <laughs> he's a fan favorite. He can't just leave the show. Gundam walked out of the trial <laughs> for trial three. And so it begins. So in the beginning. I hoped this would never happen again, and now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain on the fourth class trial was about to open. Nekomaruni die! The ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than more hilarious than anyone I'd ever met. He cared more about brotherhood than anyone I've ever known. He was more brother than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new hilarious form, Nekomaru's killer. Yo. It's one of us. This screen in shambles. 
but also being held up by the tent poles of two tens. This screen had like all the tens on it, actually. <laughs> Don't question that. I won't let this be executed. <laughs> They're excused. <laughs> I won't let these two be executed, goddammit. The screen is, is ten city. <laughs> I won't forgive this. This screen is city. The person who betrayed Nekomaru, who betrayed their friends, I will never ever forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, has begun. So in the end, Nekomaru need die. Nekomaru need died. Guys, we fucking... Jesus Christ, we made it. If we had just... Listen, if... <laughs> I'm willing to, to eat a little crow on the fact that, like... Had we talked to Monomi, maybe she would have told us something useful about the uh, light thing, and we could have saved some time. But I didn't know what it was going to be like. So, I don't know. <laughs> Guess we eventually got there. Um, yeah, but I mean, we st we're, still, we're still doing fine. Um, we made it. Hey, that is a lot to think about. I'm still, like, at, at the most base level, I understand how the, like, how, what's going on with the rooms, I think. But the the way that it we had to like m ambulate to get there, or what happened with the rooms, is some like I feel like I need to draw a diagram to figure that out. <laughs> and I don't know if it would be more fun to like do that on my own and like look at it next week, or just to wait and like just be on the ride on this one. Um. Right now, I think it's interesting because, like, had we not been told anything about the uh, trials being the same, then I might have thought that this was also, like, a, tr a case with no murderer, and that's maybe what Nagito is pissed about. Um... But because they told us that, like, they they specifically, like, highlighted that for us, I feel like that, that can't be the case any longer. Like, I don't think that it would do that. Um. And even then, like, thinking about it, actually, I think, again, I, I, I know, I think the game wants us to be thinking about that. But the ways in which the cases are the same between game one and game two, I feel like are fairly superfluous. Um, unless it is some like higher like meta level like thing, you know. The, the the similarities were that one of the characters was stabbed with a knife. Um, even though he wasn't even, he was stabbed with a skewer. <laughs> The similarity in the second case is that a character revealed himself to be a serial killer. However, Pekko was not a serial killer. Actually. Sh sh that was just a bit. Like, that was... They just did that. And then in, the, in case three, like, yes, two people died, but they did not die as, and as the result of, like, an accomplice. It was an accident. Um, or, you know, like, it was not an intended uh, murder, right? Is that even what happened in case three? I don't, know. I don't even fucking remember. <laughs> but it was, like, again, the point is, Hyoko was not working with Mikan. Or, you know, and also, in case three, really only, like, one person fucking died anyway. Um. Yeah, I guess that's true. You could argue the, uh... Forgetting your name. It's Tina. <laughs> A 10? Are you talking about case one? Ibuki? I 
I guess that's true. But even then, what I'm saying is, it's not the same. There are similarities to it, but like, the similarities I all, I think are maybe more like to get in our head or not. Um, yeah, you could, you I suppose you could argue that, but also I don't think that you would argue that. <laughs> or like, I would say that that's, it's not the same thing as case three in the first game. Um, yeah. So that, I think that's interesting though, that like, I feel like they, again, I, they want us to be thinking about it, um, but it's all, like, it, there are similarities, but also I don't think any of them end up mattering, kind of. But we'll see, we'll, we will learn how much they matter for sure. Because I feel like we finally got, like, some good meaty stuff here for going into case 5, which, you know, it's probably the last case. <laughs> um, we definitely, like, finally got, like, some real shit today, I think. And I'm interested to see, like, what it is about this that has Nagito so pissy, other than me, obviously. Yeah. Um, I don't think I really have anything else to say about this today. But we should look at my e-handbook and say, Good night, Chibi Me. I love Chibi Me. Chaos. Also, the difference about case three is that in case three in game one, a 10 killed, and in case three in this game, a zero killed. <laughs> and I think the game knows that. I think Danganronpa itself acknowledges that. <laughs> the real ones know. Guys, I hope you stuck around because it is guessing time. Ring, ring, yoo-hoo, wake up everybody. It's guessing time. Everyone said Mahiru. Didn't Na- Oh, no. Uh, who gave me a guess already? Was it... Um, Isaac said Ibuki, I think, maybe? Isaac guessed Ibuki. Isaac guessed Ibuki. I miss Ibuki. She was a footy. <laughs> okay. Two Mahirus. Akane, Sonya... Ibuki, Peko, Gundam, Pyakuya, Gundam, Teru Teru. I got my, I have my pick for today. Ibuki Ha. How many students do we start with? 16. I am about to reveal myself as the ultimate lucky student. As I load 16 bullets into my 16 chambered gun, or no, 15 bullets into my 15 chambered gun, and I pull the trigger, I'm gonna hit the one blank that is Nagito. <laughs> Ready? That's my guess, lock in. This is my Steiner's Gambit. Oh no! <laughs> I was a reserve student after all! Ah! My life! <laughs> oh no, I was in the reserves! Oh, there he is! <laughs> Fuck off, Nagito! Well, well, well. <laughs> Look, guess you don't have an ultimate, Steiner. <laughs> no! <laughs> he showed up to gloat. It's okay, snack attack eight from YouTube and from Twitch. I still think you can maybe solve the case, I think. Thanks, Chiaki. Show me Kazuichi. <laughs> Don't show me that. Hey, sis, good work. Akane Aoins. <laughs> what we, Akane's Akan, Akan out. What was it? It was stupid, whatever it was. Um. Hey, guys, thank you for watching. It was a lot of fun today. I feel like we lost a little energy after spending all that thinking time on uh, 
on what when we get stuck it like there he is don't you just love me <laughs> i'm here no i've i've moved on <laughs> um when we really get stuck on something and we're like sitting there just like think 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 then when I like get on the other side, I feel like I've like really like spent myself kind of. Um. So it like it like just happens like that, because then I like worry that like I'm like oh we got now we got to make pace because I don't know how much of this is left and like I like try to get through it faster. Um, but just in spite of that, I think we had a lot of fun and there's definitely it definitely was probably possibly the most interesting session. I I think I'll say this is the most interesting the game has been so far for sure. Um. Like, as far as just, like, level of, like, complexity and, like, coolness of the mechanics and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm excited for next week. And I'm excited to thank, once again, Monkey for the resub. And that's all we had today. You guys, next Friday, we will be streaming again. Um, I would love to play DK64 Randomizer again, but in the last seed I did, which was, like... Um, I started it last night, and then I finished it. I did most of it or finished it today. In the last seed that I did, um, my computer crashed twice. <laughs> I mean, like, it's almost like it, like, it doesn't, it doesn't like, blue screen or anything. It just, like, restarts. Um, but I, it, I've not had that. This is a new computer, and I've not had that happen with anything else, like, I've done other than when I'm running Project 64. Um... So, like, it didn't happen at all during the stream, and we played it for three, you know, some hours. Uh, but I just, like, I worry that, like, there's something, like, it's just, like, some issue with it. So I'm going to see if I can, like, what I can do to fix that. Um, the exact same issue with the computer at work? <laughs> when you run DK64 Randomizer on it? <laughs> um... And like again, it'll it'll run stable for hours at a time, uh, and then like it'll just like shut down and like turn back on. Again, I've not um, had any other issue with it with any other software or anything else I've done. Like running games, like running Steam games and stuff, it's not ever been an issue. I thought it was it had something to do with like just like the game run like I don't know how much like resources the game takes up or whatever but I thought it might be that and like running discord at the same time but it doesn't it seems to be kind of just random and it doesn't happen at like any specific interval um so I don't know what the hell it is but maybe we'll figure it out <laughs> even if we don't like I, I wouldn't I like I would still be down to stream that next week this is where I was going with this um but otherwise, I mean, if we if I get my fill of it also, we could play something else. Or I'm not sure what I'll do on Friday, but I'll let you guys know. And then Sunday will be the trial of this next week. And we are definitely, like, after this, like, I'm already up. A, I mean, I think I'm up, like, fine. Like, if I go to bed, like, kind of get ready for bed right after this, I'll be totally fine for work tomorrow. But um, I worry about the trial. Well, we're going to have to start early on, on Sunday next week, but... I'll let you guys know. Keep you posted. For now, big love. I hope everybody has a great week. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and hanging out. Bye-bye. Uh,